Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another stream. This is the Count of Monte Fisto back with some Lunar Silver Star. Eh, apologies for not playing this yesterday. I had just very, very late start yesterday. Once again, um, had a service guy coming, supposed to show up in the morning, showed up like three hours late, and it really did derail my whole day. But hey, I did get my taxes done yesterday. So there is that. Uh, we had a late afternoon stream yesterday of um, Digimon World for the PlayStation 1. A game that is weird, maybe not the most appealing, very bizarre, experimental if you will, but goddamn, if that game <laughs> it, like doesn't have a lot of nostalgic fondness for me. It's such a weird thing, it really is. Uh, nothing else in my experience ever plays quite like it, even though it is very cryptic and blatantly wastes your time but uh we will be playing that one in full we were also playing some crash bandicoot 2 yesterday first time playing through uh, i think we, we got like a quarter through the game which is crazy granted it's only gonna get harder so there's that we got we got to get get good at that poop training simulator digimon indeed well i mean you know you can get the giant shit monster if you fuck up enough and that shit monster can eat all the shit across the world map for you which improves your uh digimon rating i mean you know it improves the what the penalty that you got for having shit there to begin with once again none of this is really explained uh, really digimon world is a game you play get confused and drop it and then a year later pick it up again and understand it slightly more and then drop it and uh Maybe, maybe this will be the time I finally beat it. I've only ever gotten halfway through, but uh, the fact that it keeps beckoning me to come back really says a lot about our society. But um, here's Lunar, the Silver Star. I did actually read the instruction manual to see if there's anything I was missing, and not really. The, a lot of the item and magic description and a lot of the usage of shit is just kind of left for you to really just figure out. Once again, a slight issue I have with the game, although, you know, like, it's uh, cool. Um, just now, I was talking in chat with uh, my good buddy, old pal, I Gable about the plot of this game and the fact that I remember so much of the plot, and I'm intrigued to find out more. Uh, that's a good sign. Because we are now trying to, A, get a bunch of money. Is, holy shit, they uh, are very fucking stingy with the money they give you. Um, we still need to explore the overworld, which, you know, hey, we'll be getting some money, some levels, because I'm actually surprised we got through that, like, surprise solo dungeon. Granted, I kind of stumbled upon it before I even checked out everywhere there was to check out of this game. I think we're already, like, level 20, which is surprising. I'm assuming the max level is 99. Maybe it does the Tales of Fantasia thing, where by the end of the game, just on a normal playthrough, you're like level 80, 85, 90. <laughs> this is a very fun, cheesy song, but I can't say it's a good one. Oh, speaking of which, I was fucking around with, um... My god, what was it called? I didn't look up what it's called. The, like, AI, uh, music generator. Suno. Suno.ai. App.suno.ai. Which is, uh, S-U-N-O. That thing is fucking great. I was making, uh, country songs about Terry A. Davis herding dark cattle using the command line. Um, that, that was, that was great. I made a song about how Timothy McVeigh is just a patsy. Not really, you know, I, I can't really, like, put in the, the entirety of, you know, what happened with the Oklahoma City bombing in one, uh, one, like, sentence, right? It's a little, little complex, a little convoluted. Thank you, ATF, for that, that gift. And I guess Janet Reno and Bill Clinton are orthodox Jewish rabbi.
So yeah, but uh, this song right here though. Oh yeah, but uh, anyway, uh, Suno. Suno is fucking fantastic. Check it out. It is very fun. Um, I'm going to be messing around with that, making all sorts of fun, fun songs. But yeah, the uh, the intro song for this game though. You can tell that it was just like they they had the Japanese music and they're like, uh, oh, let's keep the music and keep the cadence and singing style and just implant English lyrics, which doesn't really work there. It just you either keep it Japanese or make your own song. All right, please, like, God damn it, it gives you like two fucking milliseconds to select. Um, I think here where are ya? You don't, I don't fuck up and like remove my save file. Alright, um, let's try to get our bearings here. Yeah, what, what is our status? Yeah, we're like level 20, it's crazy. And Nash is only level 14. I guess I did gain quite a few levels in that solo area. Um, we both... Aw, Layla. Dog's so cute, she's at my feet right now. We have uh, Mia's Broomide. Um, now that we know how to equip shit, it kind of creates some issues, right? Main issue is we can equip eight things, on, essentially on us, uh, whether it's potions or gear. But looking at it, we have armor, weapon, shield, helmet, uh, ar arm, accessory. So that's like five things they're just spoken for, and then you have like unique items. I don't know what the fuck they do. We're gonna want to use those in battle if we can to see what they do. Um, another issue is enough time has passed where I kind of forget a lot of this area, huh? Oh god, I remember that. I remember my ears bleeding. Welcome back, motherfucker. I remember up here being the temple where I can meet the one guy's daughter. There's some Ooga Booga men beating off in these bushes. Um, yeah, then I can't use anything. What the fuck? Yeah, you'd think like the dragon ring or the broom eyed would uh, do something. What the fuck does that do? We can equip it and nothing else. Weird. Alright, well, um. Guess we can use Flamer. We can use the Ice Cane. And a cascade ring. What does the cascade ring do? I'm kind of afraid to use it. Uh, that did something. I wonder if we, like, one time uses it. Oh god, look at these motherfuckers. Jesus. Oh, okay, so this is gone. Whatever the fuck that was. Good. Alright, cascade ring gone. That was a very expensive item, too. I don't even know what it did. Now that we used it, it's not really cheating if I look up what the fuck it does. Uh, Cascade Ring Lunar Sega CD. Uh, Cascade Ring increases the wearer's attack by 16. It's like one time use though, or like what was it used? But I mean, it's gone though, bro. Um, so wait, it's passive increased attack by 16, or it's one time used to do what? Range. Oh no, that is what it does. It's, it's just one time use. And increases the where's where's attack. What says there where's attack? Hold up, let's get a second opinion here. The fuck? All right, it has the same effect essentially as. Uh, it does not boost stats unless it's used. Equipping doesn't do shit. Okay, so it's like the uh, the one spell that Luna had. The only difference is we use it once and it's fucking done. Um. Uh, can we get like 300 bucks for that? Should I just like, should I just sell the fucking thing? 
Yeah, I think we get like 300 bucks for that. How much money do we get? I remember m money being a real pain in the ass. How do I see money? Oh, silver. Yeah, um... I say we sell that fucking thing, personally. Yep, time to reload. Cascadering. Cool in that it increases, it doubles my attack. It'd probably be awesome for boss fights. I don't know, should we save something? I don't know. Well, regardless, let's reset. But, um, what do you think? Should I sell it for th quick 300, or should I save it for a potential future boss fight? God damn, I love, like, just not knowing what shit does, one-time use, and it doesn't even tell me what it does. I just have to be like, oh god. I do. CD-ROM, yeah, there we go. It's interesting that's a feature on the Sega CD, I just don't understand how it works. Hit a button, it goes to a, uh, a music player for whatever disc you have in. Say for Alex using a boss fight, yeah. Because it would be good, and I, I really think that it's like, um, uh, what Aerith's from Final Fantasy VII, where it's like, it gives you her healing abilities and then takes it away. Although with Luna, she had, um, insanely ungodly cheap powerful magic. Being able to double my attack for every single battle for, like, near nothing was, uh, broken, but I mean, that was just for the tutorial. All right, um, well, Dragon Ring doesn't do anything, or does it? <laughs> All right, wait, 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 stats. 55, 33, 17, 28. 5, 33, 17, 28. Yeah, all right, so that doesn't do shit. Uh, this is like a quest item. What the fuck does this do? I mean, I have two of them. I mean, Jesus, we also got a music box. What's the point of having the harp? But do I need it equipped, though? I can't use it in battle. But you, like, start with that equipped, you know what I mean? It's just kind of weird. Um, alright, uh, what else do we want? We do have a bow. I think we just removed- I think we're holding onto the bow because the ice rod is better. Smoked fish dragon ring, silver light. Sell the leather clothes. Weird, I don't know, maybe it's like, uh... Zelda Link's Awakening, and we just get like seven fucking instruments, maybe? Something like that? And let's see, I think we do want the ice rod, but the or the ice cane, but um... Fuck, was that better than the, uh, the bow? Let's see. 40, 15, 955. Alright, so his agility... Oh wait, no, that's that's the other guy. I'm looking at Nash. Oh, okay, so the Ice Rod is just, just fucking better all around. Got it, okay. So let's hold on to the bow for someone else. I could go back up to a uh, place and sell some of our shit. I kind of want to. Sorry, there's enough... I, I swear to God that one guy down there is like an Adol reference from East. Like, it just, it fucking has to be. I don't know why, maybe, maybe like, um... What company made this? I mean, Working Design's translated it, but what, what was the company that made this? I think it's the same company that did, uh... Quite a few games, it's like, fucking blanking on it. Love it, it all, just chilling there. <laughs> no, it really is funny. Alright, come on. Eh, just talk to me. Um, cool. Sell. Alright, can't sell the harp. 
Can't sell the dragon ring. Could sell the bow for 350. Um, let's get rid of the leather clothes. I don't think I need those. Could sell the bow. But what do you got? So yeah, we have the ice cane. Haven't used it yet. Fire cane is insanely expensive. Saber and long sword are all insanely expensive. Yeah, what, what do we got actually? Fuck, we got the uh, the claw and the chainmail and the cool robe. Yeah, maybe I was holding on to the leather clothes for a reason. For the life of me, I can't remember it. Maybe just in case I recruit someone else. Yeah, they got the cool robe for him. No one can wear the tiara. I think everyone has leather gauntlets. Bracelet no one can equip. Magic robe is ungodly expensive, but uh, Nash could certainly make use of that later on. I mean, we haven't even bought all the cool shit the previous sound, you know what I mean? Like, we're behind. I think these are like one time, like one fucking time use uh, spells. I think the instruction manual did say something about that. Cascadering, jeez. God damn, like really 650 bucks. It's ridiculous. Um, I think a light barrier and power barrier boost your defense and uh, magic defense, I think. Starlight, silver light, heal MP. Don't know what the charm does. It's probably also one time use. But I'm um, seeing which. Wait a minute. Uh, we're gonna do. Item. Take off the goddamn equip ring. Oh god, how do? How do? I'm really struggling here. And put on the cascader ring in case I ever need to increase my defense. Yeah, I could have it on Nash. I mean, I think it affects my whole party, but I'm not sure if Nash is going to be in my party for like ever or not. Probably not, considering. Armor, such rations. Gloves, holy flute. No fucking clue what that brew mod does. We oh, have it. We have some pictures of some bitches. Oh god, please, tree. Where do we zap our way down? Oh shit, okay, I gotta remember all the places that we can get free healing. Um, so old man inside of Vane. Definitely part of it. Can I talk to Adol? Like, that is Adol, right? Like, I'm not crazy. I wonder if in Japanese, instead of talking about the Tootsie Roll commercial. He's like, I have to get to, uh, I don't fucking know, uh, Narnia. I already, I'm already blanking on what the place is called in East. Well, I mean, obviously East, but what was the, uh, what's the fucking town, right? Like the sub town, the town, like beneath East. I forget what the fuck that place is called. Like old, or I guess, yeah, oldies. I'll say Starlight and Silverlight get way more expensive in the PlayStation version. Healing is easier. As an obvious, you see gold got a statue you can heal there. I hoarded all the silver lights until end game. The boss fight were very tough, and I sometimes need extra MP in the boss fights. Well, so far the game has shown that like you need MP. Um, did I get like a new spell? Thunderball, Thunder Thumper, Thunder Attack. What is Thunder Thumper? Yeah, it, like stalls them, I think. Ah, we just attack, fuck it. Oh, wait, wait, AI, AI attack. Cool, alright. The so first thing we're going to do is go back up to the temple, and then we're going to check out the uh, southern edge of this thing. 
Bats continent. I do want to just generally speaking get more. Oh God. Hopefully the ice cane isn't one time use. It immediately shatters. Wait, what? Oh, it's just a way to attack with different weapons? Fuck, I don't know. I thought Ice Cane would, like, be awesome. I mean, I guess it improves my uh, stats and shit. Oh, we learned Blazing Fire. Nice. All right. To use a Blazing Fire. And I'm going to assume that just continues to exponentially be more expensive. All of your newest shit. Um... Then the Power Lithany. No, Little Lithany I think was better than Power Lithany, which makes no sense, but uh, that is a heal spell. Flames Fire, 79. Single target. Oh wow, only six, okay. I thought I told him to use Thunderball, did I not? Weird. There we are. All right, let's see if uh, this bitch is back in here yet. She apparently ran away. And the sorts of all kinds of magic power. Uh, we like to rest. I don't want to donate money because I don't really know what it does. And working designs has seen it fit to make it so we get as little money as possible. No, yeah, I'm not even sure if they lower the money reward for battles or if they raise the price of everything. Still, same difference ultimately. All right, Jessica's gone to see a friend. And this is the daughter of the furry pirate king. The dragon tribe's strongest of all the tribes is protecting the goddess. Only one more powerful than they is the Dragon Master. Yeah, so, um, we kind of got, like, an insane amount of lore dump last time. Pull up, sorry. There we go. Um, we got a, uh, insane amount of a lore dump last time. You know, let's just see if we can just AI attack and kill these fuckers. But we still need to check out what Thunderball does. Or what, uh, uh... The world was created by the dragons, and then the goddess was there, and gave the gift of the dragon magic to man. And then, uh... Generic, everyone kind of misused the dragon magic. There's this huge war. Damn near wiped everything out. And there's like some grand adventure that our uh, the previous generation of heroes went on. Our homeland hero didn't make it. Two of them might be evil. The others, the uh, pirate king. But now shit is bad again. And uh, one of the four great dragons might be dead. I, I don't know. Okay, so it's essentially the same thing as um, the fire wave or whatever the fuck this was, blazing fire, where it's a stronger single attack spell. Also, I swear, turning the um, AI on for items and magic does not do fucking anything. It's crazy. Right, so that leads down there. There's nothing south, nothing over here. Yeah, we never even like fully explored this area, did we? We do get free heals over there. We can go north just to bypass all the bullshit and get right to the uh, temple. And this should lead to... Well, that, that is uh, Vane, so we've been there. 
There's a whole bunch of shit here. This is where the goddess lives, apparently. We'd go further south. Or to the, uh... Huh, is this the town we're supposed to go to? Actually? Huh, if so, that was fucking easy. No, I think it's like an island, right? How do I save? Shit, so we found another town. Sick. Aw, my dog's barking in her sleep. She's very sweet. This place is known as the Nansa Barrier. Alright, so this is the, uh, what separates the good realm from, you know, Mordor, essentially. It divides the outer part of the continent from the inner. If you go through the cave on the pass, you can get to Kyle's place. Alright, well, we found that. Oh there, lad. Nice to meet you. These days, my business of buying fish in lawn and selling them has gone bad. I can't buy any more fish in lawn. These days, my business is in the dumps. I can't buy fish in lawn anymore. Alright, so he just says the same thing. I remember they have uh, multiple lines of dialogue each. Our leader's name is Kyle. He's a bit older than you and really strong. He's a good guy all around. Even though Kyle is still young, Master Mel entrusted this region to him. It's a very important job. The guys here all used to be hardcore thieves, but Kyle brought them here and sharp shaped them up to be protectors of the barrier. Alright, interesting. Okay. The other day, a childhood friend of our leader's came to visit. She was kind of a tomboy, but wow, she's gorgeous. All right, shit, so we found out where uh, she is. Oh, yeah, because she's fucking banging Kyle or whatever. I wish she had Sage. She was a good influence on him. All right, let's see what we got here, if anything. Nope, nothing. Talk to these clowns. There's a dragon master over by land that's giving the villagers trouble. But why would he do that? I thought he was a peaceful servant of Althenia. Althena. There's a dragon master over by land that's giving the villagers trouble. All right, so I think that's where I'm going. Shit, this is one thing that I was saying that um, uh, Fantasy Star 4 did really well. And there's I think there's a couple other games we are playing as well that was starting to do it. Where there's like party chatter that would tell you what you need to do next. I'm getting ready to travel across the barrier. I have business to attend to there. I'm just so concerned about the recent rise in monster attacks. Uh, I buy merchandise in Meribia. Yes, that is the pirate town. Meribia. And peddle it to the various villages. Whenever I pass through the Nanza barrier, Kyle and his men protect me. Protect you from what? Them? Yeah, and you pay them sucker money for them to do it. To the Kyle, you provide him protection. All right. I love our, our shit talking little companion. He's like, doesn't trust these guys? I don't know. They seem to fucking be doing a decent job. I don't have any reason to mistrust them. Other than they used to be thieves, but shit. Um, Dragon Master Dine's power certainly was extraordinary. Some say he was the greatest of all the Dragon Masters. Music in this game is chill. Yeah, this is like a chill, a very chill game. Uh, muddy color palette, once again. I mean, look at this shit. Pop in like Final Fantasy IV, even, and then yeah, you'll, you'll see the difference. Or even like Fantasy Star 2. You know, I'm a traveling merchant of sorts, too. But you're too young and sweet to know about the goods I sell. Oh, God. Come on, I, I convince her that you're old enough. Don't be a pussy. Prostitutes were made for you, fucking bro. Um, there are a lot of girls that think Kyle's so cute. He can I'm one of them. All right, let me grab your haram nut. No clue what that's for. Kyle thinks he's God's gift to woman, but I see right through that lame act. He's no prize. Kyle and I have to talk. Wait, what? Hey, Kyle is so conceited. He's always talking about how great he is. Eek, I just love it when he does that. 
It's very easy to like skip dialogue in this game, I found. I don't know. But I see you right through the Lamac. He's no prize. Hey, I thought he was God's gift to women. How am I happy to talk? Wait, is she dressed like prostitute? Is she wearing hardly anything? I can't tell. But it might be enough pixels to beat off to. I'll have to find out later, after the stream. Used to be thieves, they're upstanding citizens. The guy looks evil. Burn him, he can't trust it. Trust it. Well, the one guy, uh, fucking is definitely evil. The, uh, the evil fucking lord. The ex-lord, but I don't know. These guys could be ex-thieves. Didn't you see Aladdin? He was a thief and he was a good boy. You know, street rat, riff raff, and all that good shit. Um, if you want to cross through the cave, you'll need Boss Kyle's permission. Oh, so that's the cave to the barrier? Really? Alright. She! Did you hear about this? Some nutcase is making things hard in Len. He claims to be a dragon master, but he's torturing poor people, Len. Alright, maybe this guy's actually evil. Hmm. He can't be the real thing, because dragon masters are supposed to help, not hurt. This guy near land claims to be a dragon master, but I don't believe it. Something's fishy about this, wouldn't you say, Alex? Yeah, no, I guess we don't really know what to believe, huh? Until we, uh, assess it for ourselves in land. Every time I pass through this cave here at Nanza, I pay the protection fee. It just makes me feel so much, I don't know, safer. Alright, let's go over here first. You want to pass through the cave when I ask Kyle over there. Oh, is this Kyle? I thought Kyle would be the other guy over there. I'm Kyle, the guardian of the Nanza barrier. Do you like my tribal tat and my earring? If you want to get to the interior of the continent, you need to pass through the cave here in Nanza. I'll guarantee you a safe passage through the barrier for a thousand a million silver, jeez. I can discount the protection fee for only one reason. It has to be an emergency situation. Or there needs to be ladies. So is it? No? And the price for passage stays at a million silver. Alright, the guy's kind of an asshole, I guess. Alright. Yeah, I would have not trusted Aladdin. He's too dark. Like that Family Guy meme where they pull out the uh, the skin tone. <laughs> Is this a terrorist guy? Is this the other chick? Or no, th that's not a chick at all. Oh, Alex, good to see you again. I'm Lakey, remember? Y the guy in the woods? Yes, the guy in the woods. Alex, don't you remember? This is the guy we saw in the forest. Ah, these bandits kill me. They charge people protection fees to guard them in the caves, but they're the only bandits in the area. This is classic, what a scam. Hey, why not go up and sign up for some of their protection? Yeah, I love how he's just loudly screaming this. Yeah, these guys are fucking scam artists and pussies. These bandits of Nancy are a great con men. It cracks me up to watch them in action. That man is dangerous. When I asked for the protection fee, he beat me up. I couldn't believe it. That's why I'm having a drink with him. He kicked in my ass. As the culture here, if you get lose in a bar fight, you need to uh, get raped by them all night. It's a strange culture, but you know, when in Rome. All right, so uh, the Nanza barrier. I guess that carries you south. We have another one of these. If I can fucking approach it. Or maybe not, it's it's not even like interact I'm not I can't interact with the fuck thing. Oh no, what the fuck? What is this? Yeah, I remember there being a lot of like weird stones and shit around here. Thieves making a scam? Who would have thought? I thought they were maybe like, you know, Alibaba and the you know seventy thieves or whatever the fuck it was. And they were good guys. They they sing songs, they're like pirates, they're like Tim Curry and uh, Muppet Treasure Island. It could be good guys. You don't know. You're the type of motherfucker who judges books by covers. Like that great book, Mein Kampf, that no one gives a chance because Hitler's on the front. Alright, 
so there's a road up there. Jesus Christ. I just want to do the magic just to uh, end this shit quick. There's so many goddamn enemies. What happens if we go down here? Nothing. Okay. Her evil de detection is either 1510 or 210. There's no, there's no in between. Well, if it's a major bad guy for the entire game, then yes, I'm on point. If it's a side quest evil, then yes, I'm usually wrong. Thunder bomb. All right, goddamn. Jesus Christ, holy shit. How big is this place? Oh shit, we should uh, save occasionally. We almost have a thousand. We might be able to buy a single weapon. One day. Uh, thunder bomb. Apparently that hits everyone, which is nice. Alright, so it just does a shit ton of damage. Nice. There's nothing down here. So why is Nash here? Alex Solo's most thing. Oh, uh, we just asked him. Um, when we were like sent on this mission, I just, I, I you just talked to him. He's like, all right, shit, I'll help you. And I was actually surprised. I'm like, goddamn. I thought it was like, yeah, I gotta go do my taxes. You know, let's do my taxes. Hey, it's me, Michael. Yeah, yeah, it's it's me, Michael. Oh, well, what are you doing? I, I I'm just I'm just doing my taxes, you know. <laughs> it's like a fucking ancient video, dude. I posted that in the Discord. It still makes me fucking laugh, despite probably not being that funny. It's like some fucking early internet shit. Fuck, what is with this giant ass field of rocks? Anything over here? This might be where um, the thing is. The Katarina zone. Uh, so I might want to go north of the mountains and just remember this is here. So we could probably stop off at a town and buy like a weapon upgrade. Just remember that this is here. Yeah, I think so. I think this is around where those like big ass rocks are and it's where there's that like four way intersection. I'm, I'm kind of picking up on, like, the general location of shit. Goddamn, really, like, push it in perspective. Like, it's rare, rare to have a map in a uh, RPG, I feel. It's just a bunch of fucking lakes and shit. Oh, this might be the town, actually. Yeah, we'll go in. Fuck it. Oh, cool music. Welcome to the lakeside fishing village of Lan. Unfortunately, these days, fishing isn't so good. There's a problem. Yeah, before we check this out, honestly, um, I do want to, like, make sure that we checked out all of the overworld from that one point where we could have even gone further to the west. Um, because there's a lot of, like, weird shit here. And, you know, we could use the, um, XP. We are Nash leveling up. 
What level are you at now, Nash? Level 16, getting up there. Yeah, honestly, in a situation like this, it's going for regular attacks. Especially when we're only taking one damage. Yeah, that chainmail is pretty good. We got that for free. So that leads to a bunch of shit. Fucking Minnesota, land of a thousand lakes. Oh, speaking of which, I was watching the, um, I don't know, some of the uh, trial that's going on right now. I guess there's like a... Some mix-up, well, a mix-up, some interaction. I don't know what, what word to use for it. And like some fucking like slow lazy river ass thing in like minnesota oh, fucking maybe they can they can only use it for one month of the year god damn i can't imagine the weather being that nice that often um but anyway yeah it's like this lazy fucking river and uh yeah okay, so this is where we're, yeah okay and, um, I don't know, there's an interaction between, like, a group of teens, a group of, like, 20-something-year-old motherfuckers, and then, like, this one guy from this other group of boomers, and then, like, the boomer, um, like, stabbed, like, five people, something like that. All right, so now we're up there. Okay. What the fuck? What was this? What was this here? Nothing. And um, if you just watch the video, it's like, all right, the teens are like surround this guy, fucking with this guy. Um, they're clearly in the wrong, self-defense, yada, yada, yada. But you know, when you're actually looking at the fucking evidence, the guy approached them, stopped their inner tubes and started like doing weird shit, like touching them and shit. Like all of a sudden, like, I don't know, like the dude was drunken and very off. And then, uh, the other group walked over to de-escalate it. And for the record, that group did t apparently did a terrible fucking job de-escalating it. Like a terrible fucking job, because all they did was like escalate the living shit out of it. And then the dude was like, you know, fucking smiling, had a knife in his hand, started stabbing motherfuckers. But uh, never fucking ran away from him. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's one of those things where it kind of puts you in perspective. You watch like a two minute video of something, it'll look one way, then you look at the evidence you're like, no, no, actually like right before the shit started rolling. And then you're know, looking at the evidence in the video. Once again, it, it's kind of funny how easy it is to uh, turn that shit around to make one side look, you know, guilty and the other innocent. I mean, fuck, it's what the media did for uh, Trayvon and... Um, what the fuckers that got... Uh, Murked by a written house. It's a goddamn shame. More of a shame that yeah, written house didn't kill the uh, third dude as well. I still love how many people are like, oh yeah, written house showed up and uh, started murdering mm -hmm. everyone. A whole bunch of black people. It's like no, all the all the the dudes who died were a white and b chasing after him. With like fucking one with a gun, one with a knife, one with a skateboard. Don't bring a skateboard to a gunfight, for the record. And let's see, I Gable says, okay, that was pretty funny. Party walks in, the first villager says, we have a problem. The party just turns around and leaves. Yeah, we're not that kind of adventures. What the fuck is this? Do we pass the land of lakes? Where the fuck am I? Oh, it's, I might have went way too far. Let's save just in case. Spooky. Let go rest. Luckily, there is a resting spot. Should we, uh, keep fucking around here or go south? Yeah, this overworld is, like, actually fucking huge, man. It really is. Alright, so the giant fish fuckers, you actually have to use magic. 
It's like it's a big ass fucking dead end with a big ass lake. Alright, then you have. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of them. But yeah, anyway, like I feel like a lot of people will just watch like clips of a uh, a trial in general, but they they never. I mean, to watch a full tri a trial, I mean that's like fucking hours and hours and hours. Yeah, I am like very lost right now. Actually, I don't even know how it happened. But like by watching like a real like full on ass trial, it's um crazy. Actually, do pick up on a lot more nuances of just legalese, the law, how the process works in general. There we are, Nash leveling up again. All right, so we have 1600 silver, which is enough to buy probably. <laughs> the next item back in uh, Meridia. Uh, we could explore the rest of this little fucking peninsula, or we could just go to the next location. I say we just go to the next location. We explored the, uh, what's it called? The Nambla barrier. The barrier that is run by Nambla. Or Nancy Lanza. Oh god, I'm not allowed to say anything about Nancy Lanza or the Lanzas or anything that was weird about that event. Otherwise, I'm going to be charged by the government like 10 billion dollars. The only event in human history <laughs> that the government can just fine you like a billion dollars for questioning. It's not weird, guys. Trust me. Happens all the time. Called Nanza, the Nanza Barrier. The song of the girl in this house is good enough to land her on Star Search. <laughs> she's, I think she's practicing for the next Goddess Festival. And that might be uh, what's her nuts. There's been no Dragon Master for more than ten years now. This guy must be a fake. Kill him. On the island in the middle of the lake, there's a mysterious figure. He claims that he's a Dragon Master. Dragon Master on the Isle is making our lives very difficult. I don't think a real Dragon Master would torture us with strange magics. Alright, maybe, uh, I don't know. I still think that one, uh, leader dude is evil. I mean, he looks very evil. And he is setting us on a killing mission, but it does sound like this Dragon Master might be also bad, maybe? Like, legitimately? I don't know. I'm telling you, I saw it. It was black with fangs and big wings. I never saw anything like that around here before that Dragon Master came. I'm going to go monster hunting. Want to go with me, mister? Uh, no. The magic is making me a nervous wreck. What's happening to us? Oh, shit. With Nash on your side, you have nothing to fear. Yeah, nothing except that maybe he's letting his ego get away from him. Can't believe that something like this has happened in Lan. Don't worry, young miss. I'm on the case now. That's what's worrying me. <laughs> I, I think I think our little like homie is uh, trying way too hard to be the wisecracking sidekick character. Honestly, I used to have a seafood business here, but I've gone bankrupt. It's kind of sad, but at least now my house smells much better. They say it initially. All right, it's essentially just the same thing. Got it. Let's go in here and see if it's... Nope, it's a different lady. I'm the best singer in the whole village of land, maybe even the world. Want to hear me sing? I'll take a rain check now. Let's hear it. Here goes nothing. She's really, really bad at memorizing lyrics, guys. Run! Run! Go! Go! <laughs> Run! Go! Let's leave! 
Wow, you're almost as good as Luna, Alex. She's really got talent. Alright. Okay, no problem. If you ever want to pick me up, I'll be happy to sing for you. What, do we heal by her doing that? That pick me up, bitch. Um, if that man were a real Dragon Master, he'd never cause problems like this. Since his effect on the town and the lake is evil, he must be an evil sorcerer. See, now they're trying too hard to make him sound evil now. Like, if I can go back on my initial gut feeling. These days, the good fish have left the inlet. This is sad. I was looking forward to eating fish again. What we got here, bro? Welcome, travelers. It's the general store. What can I do for you? Um... Wait, what? Good day. May the goddess Althina, Althina guide you wherever you may roam. Not really sure what garlic would do, but let's buy some anyway. Say there, you're not... Are you my nephew, Joe? No, he can't be. He's a lot better looking. All right, weird. Weird that you're really into your nephew, bro. But yet you can't recognize your nephew. What are you doing in my house? Don't you know how to knock? All right, come on. That man over there is my husband, the mayor of Len. What? You're the one Master Galen and Galeon sent to help us, but you're just a boy. Well, I suppose Master Galeon has faith in you. I should give you a chance. I'm the mayor of Len. A while ago, a magician came over to live on the isle over there. He claims to be the Dragon Master, but he continuously torments our village. Since he has a powerful kind of magic, we're powerless to stop him. I think he lives on the cave under the island. Please help us. So, what are you waiting for? A bon voyage party? Hop to it, kid. We're counting on you. Actually was waiting for a bon voyage party. Oh, this is a chick. Yes, this is the lady we're looking for. I'm Jessica of Meribia, and who, pray tell, are you? Well, we finally met her. Heard about you, you filthy slut. I heard about the evil man. Oh, God. Fucking Falcon punched my mic. I heard about the evil man torturing the poor people of this town, and I came to see what I could do to help with the situation here. I'm really good at healing magics. I learned them when I was a deckhand on my father's ship. Nice to meet you all. My name's Jessica. I'm a junior priestess. I just had a fight with the jerk in Nanza. I need to blow up some steam. What do you say? Shall we try to get to the bottom of the problems they're having here? Yeah, fuck it. I can't wait to get the bomb of these weird events. I don't give a fuck if they're on the top. Let's get going. Nice. We got a healer. Um, tell me you don't need too much shit. Oh, cool. Is there a cool robe? And a claw. Nice. And a tiara already. I can probably just sell the bow. All right. She's like, what, like a battle mage? Uh, let's see. Attack power 53. Oh, I can't even equip the bow. Alright, fuck it. Let's sell the bow. Yeah, it sucks. It's like you need the money to, you know, to sell it, but like it, you know, you only get half back. And it takes forever to get any money. Whoa. Hey there, sweet thing. Can you spare tens? <laughs> you just sucking drunk and disgusting drunk and the leech. Get away from me. I said every RPG has to have at least one worthless drunk. At your stereotypical comment. Take offense to it. God damn, it's you like really do skip uh, dialogue really easy. I gotta like ease off the hitting of the A button. There's no need to start calling me names now. Atop of the island all covered with moss, I saw a weird stranger that looks like a boss. <laughs> Where do all where do you come up with all these stupid little rhymes? And what's a boss? If you're sliding to home and your shorts are full of foam, it's diarrhea. The fuck? Oh, to the tune of the like uh, fucking moon in your eye song. What the fuck? All right, they were going like they were just running out of ideas for translating this town. I swear. 
person living on the island is supposed to be a dragon master, but the strange magic he's using to is driving away all the fish. It's scaring me too. I guess we hop on that boat and go away. I thought they said an island under a uh, cave underneath the island though. Oh, speaking of which, let's uh, save now that we have three homies. I was out fishing and strange guy suddenly appeared and zapped me. He said that he was my uh, appointed tormentor, and that was my judgment. I like the idea that all of these guys are just liars. <laughs> They're all working for Galen. Who was that strange guy, and where did he learn to wield that magic? Oh my, have you heard? My husband is seriously wounded by a strange man. People are saying that this is the worst of a man that calls himself Dragon Master. I wonder why he do such terrible things. What is this? What the fuck is this? A center for ants? How can we expect to learn each people out to learn to read? If they can't even fit inside of the building. Derek, it's just a small model. My mom told me to stay close to the house of all the monsters around, but I'm not afraid of any stupid old monsters. It's a really brave thing to say, little boy. But why don't you leave the monster slaying to us? It's good. Be sure to protect your mom from any that come this way, okay? Lately, it seems that monsters are cropping up more and more around here. I remember when I was young, my dad had to walk 20 miles through waist-deep snow with worn-out shoes to find a monster to slay. These days, they're all over. What's this world coming to? Alright. Okay, shit. So I guess we're just going to the fucking boat. Oh, I should see what uh, kind of magic she's got. A uh, little litany, purity litany? I guess that cures poison, if I had to guess. And calm litany. Ah, fuck. Just look it up. Eh, I mean, we got the, uh, let's see, lunar. Sega CD. Spells. It's probably in the instruction manual. Uh, Calm Litany heals everybody. Okay, shit. So, um, Power Litany is, like, kind of a decent heal for a cheap little is just better. Calm, um, heals everybody. I'm assuming Purity is, uh, Antidote. Cures Poison. Alright, well, let's, uh, do this real quick. Now you're back to wanting to borrow my ship. No way, you dumb broad. For a sniveling coward, you talk pretty big. If you don't want to end up zapped into the frontier, you'll lend us your boat. Oh, watch, it's, she was the one fucking zapping everyone. Oh my god. Uh, here, <laughs> it's like fucking uh, Jim Ross on the mic. Uh, here, take the ship, take it all, just get away from me. If you'd like to use my ship, please feel free. And my dog is, she's got her like legs up against my legs, but she's dreaming of, I guess, chasing rabbits. So she's just kicking me like a gangster. Okay, we're heading out, hold on. Oh, do we get a cutscene? Oh, look, look at that, nice. Hopefully it's like a full cutscene. Once again, I think just because of the length of the game, um, I think we're actually getting less cutscenes than we could with uh, something like um, East or Poffle Mail. Uh, Flamer, Thunder Wave. <laughs> All right, uh, I mean, I guess we could save here, but I mean, we already saved before we left here, but and he might be able to hop on the boat and head back. Let's go into the spooky dungeon. 
I think this is our, it might be our, no. I mean, you can consider the forest of the dungeon and also the white dragon cave uh, dungeon. I was gonna say this is like our first legit dungeon, not in the tutorial of the game that we have a full party for. Mm. So let's start off by just AI attacking and see how we do. Oh, okay, so they uh, hit pretty hard, you got it. They hit for like 30. Flamer. Thunder wave. Let's attack. Oh, shit, they seem to be magic resistant. Okay. Well, goddamn, that makes shit a little bit more simple, huh? God damn, we go from like a fucking cave where we need magic to a cave where magic is more trouble than it's worth. What else do we got? We got, yeah, just, just fire spells, really. Just lightning attacks. All right, they're pretty weak though. Yeah. Go down easy enough, but goddamn, Nash and Alex sure do take a fucking beating. Yeah. Alright, so we got three downs. And we could always just go back and heal. And I guess there is a free spot, so it could just like, you know, <laughs> power level here. And I mean, he's also got his own heal. All right, I mean, fuck, we'll, uh, we'll stay in here. Jasmine, not sure what that does, but we do have a bunch of healing items as well. All right, so it's down and then the down left option. Looks like there might be a goodie up here. A wood shield. Is that like even fucking remotely useful for me? And we already have a fucking wood shield. She can equip. Okay, full well, fuck it. I won't be an asshole about it. That's nice. I appreciate it. But shield is appreciated. I should try to see how much that actually improves shit by. Reminds me of Eye Guy from Power Rangers or that episode uh, Total Recarl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Probably one of my favorites, honestly. Alright, so we got left and down. Cool, so we got like a fucking battle mage. It's sick. Awesome. So we got nothing down there. Went down there to go around. Alright, so like down, down left, then it's like you got up and up middle. Shit. No, no, no. You just got up middle. Fuck. Okay. Nice, I kind of like the, how the caves aren't that fucked up in terms of navigating. It's like a nice in-between. I think they did a good job. I want to say that's where we want to go. Yeah. 
from. They're cute. Do they make magic resistant cave, but they give you a healer to offset it. But that does mean that Nash is mm. kind of fucking worthless. I mean, he's leveling up. Once uh, his magic is useful again, he should be good. These are a um, little litany on Nash. Aha! Alright, the top half, that is most likely where we want to go. Let's go down here and get that treasure. I also gotta remember, by um, going through more caves, we can get more items and also more gold, so that way when we do finally go back to a town to buy shit, we can kind of skip the lower tier shit and go right for the higher tier. Although I do feel like we are, we really do need to go back to a town at some point sooner than later. Even for some light upgrades, jeez. I got 2,000. Just save here. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. There's a spot right outside to heal, and I think the game might let us, if we want, hop onto the uh, the boat and go back. Hopefully it does. Although in battles like this, I should at least make an attempt to try to use Nash's spells. Especially if he's only going to be like doing 20 damage anyway. Ooh, alright, dick. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> Fucking absolute cunt. Whatever. Attack. Thunder bomb. All right, that is overkill. In terms of uh, MP, not worth it. Because these are the guys that... Are resistant to magic, so it's not really worth using anything on them. Wind essence. Wind essence. I'm gonna assume that's like a one time use. I guess I could equip that on him. Attack that one. Thunder bomb and attack that one. Mint essence. The fuck? The fuck is this shit? Mint essence. You can't tell what the fuck it does until you use it. I, mean, I guess we can try to use them like a boss fight or something. Jeez. Use a little litany on me and another litany on Nash. Continue north. Yeah, it makes you appreciate when there's just little lines of dialogue when you use items like magic increase, you know, just some basic shit. I mean, fuck, Dragon Quest 1 did that, you know what I mean? So really, no RPG should ever be not doing that, you know? Magic, little litany on Jessica. Save some of her MP. Like, if the first JRPG essentially is kind of telling you what items and magic does when you use them, 
At least, at least when you use a minimum, then at least, you know, other fucking games should also be doing that, but whatever. I am overall, like, really enjoying this game, though. I think it is cool and comfy. It's just... Item uses in particular are very abstract. Chain helmet, sick. Oh, I was gonna see um, how much that wood shield actually increases their defense by. Uh, 14, 16. Okay, so it's like plus five defense. What level are you at? Level 18. Why is he so under-leveled? Yeah, I mean, Alex is level 23, so I've been getting enough um, experience. I think maybe I was supposed to travel more with Nash before going into Vayne than I ended up doing. Because uh, I did kind of like stumble upon it immediately and be like, Oh, what is this? Fuck, I'm locked in because of my save. Shit. 58, 33, 19, 30. 3930. Huh, only plus two. I mean, yeah, I'm grateful, but still. Alright, I guess we're selling the regular helmet then. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what? Jesus Christ. I think the knockback is also proportionate to uh, how much damage you give or take. What? Huh? I think I'm missing something here. Oh, Jesus Christ. So let me fucking explore and try to figure out what the fuck is going on. I was a miss a stairway or something the previous floor. I wasn't really expecting this to be a dead end. Oh shit, now he knows Calm Litany. Fucking A. Alright, well we're getting fucking some mean ass level ups. What the fuck, though? And we're gonna need to seriously heal. So we done just got fucked up. For fuck's sake, just shoot, just shoot, call him Litany. Goddamn, struggling here. Holy fuck! Goddamn, don't let me. For the love of God, don't let me fucking go back upstairs. up like crazy at level 24 geez I don't know maybe it is like a Tales of Fantasia thing and you just are supposed to eventually get to level max so I'm gonna have to level hump or uh, wall hump here
are we doing on money? Almost at 3k. Surprising. Yeah, like maybe I missed something? I have no fucking clue. I didn't see anything. go back and then just uh, check out some yeah like it's nothing there all right Alex is gonna take like 60 damage good Takes a fucking beating, jeez. There's shit down there, but I think that's where I was before. Going down there does nothing. Oh shit! Look at that, you fucking sneaky fucking cock. I fucking hate that shit. I mean, East did something like that too, I think, in one of the beginning caves. Yeah, that's like fucking underhanded, dude. It really is. Starlight. Um, we could go back to the entrance and then get a full heal. And get back all of our uh, mana before proceeding further. Fuck, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but I kind of want to do that. We need, we really do need the money anyway. Unfortunately. Nash is leveling up. If we are going back to the entrance anyway, a part of me is really curious to just see if I can hop on the boat and go back to the Meridia and uh, buy some gear. Again, we don't really have a whole lot. God damn, dude. They made shit way too fucking expensive in this one. Alright, that's fucking neat. I gotta give kudos. To make it so you're not completely locked away. You get there like, so So what happened? Did you kill him? It's like, yeah. <laughs> He's dead. Bye. Let's take our reward. Weird how that screen is like really colorful, but then like you go back to town and then everything's like dark green and dark brown. Everything just looks like shit. I know I was just playing Warcraft 1, which <laughs> kind of has the same thing, but it's like an old MS-DOS game. I'll be waiting for you at the mayor's house. Hurry back. Are you fucking me in the ass, you fucking dirty bitch? God damn. I mean, shit. I still want to, like, buy some new shit. Flamer. And Thunder Wave. 
So quick diversion. It's amazing how little fucking gold, right? Yeah, that's the one thing that happened. God, I mean, I guess I can't tell, you know? You can't really tell if they, uh, dropped the gold... Dr they dropped the amount of gold drop or just drastically increased the prices. The gold drop in battle does seem really fucking low. Mayor's hung like a horse. She isn't done in this village yet. Yeah, she's a dirty slut, all right. Oh, God, please, what the fuck? At least the battles in this game are, like... Fucking ridiculously quick. We should have 3k to fuck around with in Pirate Town. Oh, and also the shit that we're selling as well. Hopefully you get like a reward of some kind somewhere at some point. For some reason. Kind of like cut through some of this shit if we can. Hey, there we are. Alright, so it's not... If you know where to go, it's not that long of a walk. It just kind of, the process of learning where shit is is not nightmarish. It's very windy, a lot of shit in your way. A lot of empty space. You like how they make the, uh, the sprites on the overworld for the towns really fucking big. So is this guy's name Mel? Aimed after Mel Brooks. Shabbat Shalom. I actually like Mel Brooks. He does, he does good movies. He does. Fuck, okay, I remember the layout of this place sucking ass. Alright. The fuck? Why do you guys design your fucking house like this? Mel Galeon. I already forget what the name of the uh, the main dude is from the start of the game. You've met Jessica. I'm glad, you know. She's the apple of my eye. You know, when Jessica's ready to marry, she's better to choose a man suitable of character. I want only the bravest and most handsome man for my daughter. Master Mel robs like a lion, but he's really a pussycat at heart. Don't let him scare you, Master Alex. For me, that's just supposed to be the Misa Misa lady from, uh, Happy Gilmore. So yeah, there's also, like, a little cave over here. I, I gotta remember, I'm, like, taking little notes I have of shit that I can't do anything with yet. I talked to you twice, maybe? No. Same shit. All right. Let's uh, go shopping, then head back, and we know exactly where the cave the town is, where the cave is, and how do you get from the first floor to the second floor. God damn, all right, so we have the coffee house. I don't think there's anything in the coffee house. Get lost, you bum. Hi, you stingy fool. I hope you are eaten alive by the monsters from the sewer. Fucking prick. He already got me last week. 
Kyle, that's a barrier. He's talking about Alex's friend Luna. As country's girl goes, she's pretty cute and blessed with a dynamite set of pipes to boot. That's the chauvinistic way of saying she's beautiful and talented. Ever get a chance to introduce me to Luna? I really admire a girl who can sing well. God damn, everyone in this cafe, this cafe in air quotes is really horny. Yeah, but why change this into a cafe though? Maybe it really was a cafe, but there's a stripper over here, a little like fucking pole dancing area. I mean, it's not, you know, like a fucking old ass game when like the NES or Super Nintendo. I mean, it's a Sega Genesis game. They didn't have to like kowtow to really anything. In fact, that was like the strength is this Genesis like, hey kid, are you tired of those baby toys? We got titties in our games. What we got here? Clothes, leather armor. I think we have chainmail. Not even sure if uh, chainmail is better or worse than the leather armor. I actually have no idea. I might want to save scum. We're gonna save fucking by the carapace armor. It's just the carapace armor, though. I mean, yeah, both of these pricks can equip it. Um, the cool robe, I think it gives uh, Nash more magic and agility. It might be good for... Um... Alex. But well, let us sell the bow for some more money and the helmet. Mint essence. Goddamn. What does that do? And Jasmine. We have Jasmine. Gotta hear him not. I don't know what any of this shit does, and I'm like, the game has, like, made me actually afraid to try shit out. And like, yeah, I could save scum, but that, you know, it's like work. It's work I have to do. Saber. I could just buy a saber. Could upgrade to the axe. See, here's the fucked up thing, though, is I wanted the axe for so long because the game has taunted me with it since the beginning of the game. Even though the saber is better. Can I buy the saber and also the other thing? That would leave me with 2k. But we could also sell the claw for 500, so we had 2,500. Is Carapace armor like 27 or some shit? Motherfucker. But we could sell our armor, but I don't think we can unequip our armor. We're not allowed to be naked in this game, which is kind of horrid shit. Wait a minute, we can buy the Kiribati armor. What we got? 60, 36, 20. It's really just 36, 20, 31. 36, 20, 31. 36, 20, 31. Excuse me? Wait, the chain mail is better than all the shit they sell in here? Really? It is. Fuck. So we've... Well, wait, so is there anything we would want here? I guess I could give the carapace armor to what's his not to sell the cool robe. What the fuck? But we take so much damage right now. All right, fifteen, eleven, fifty-nine. All right, anti-magic drops by five, but defensive power actually goes up quite a bit. Um, how often do we get hit by magic? Not really often at all, honestly.
So what is that? That's like a swing of five. Five defensive power, five anti-magic. So it really is like, what do you get hit with more? Magic or physical attack? The answer is, uh... Physical attack. Or should we just say fuck that and reset? When was the last time I saved? Oh, cock. That's a good question. Alright. Time to reset. The carapace armor is shit. Oh, god, I hate... This is one thing I hate about old games, guys. You could say, well, just use a guide. Well, I mean, then you're not really getting the full experience. Well, the full experience kind of sucks. It's like, isn't that kind of the point, though? <laughs> like, like you don't really, you know, you're essentially using outside material to uh, alleviate the, the bad aspects of an older game. Then you don't really have a good judgment for the quality of that game. It's where you get, like, really dumb shit online where they're like, oh yeah, the game's actually really, really good, and then you play, and you're like, not really. I was, I was confusing, the dungeon sucked, uh, you didn't know what anything did. Yeah, it's like, it's like when you watch Happy Gilmore and they talk about playing the ball as it lies, right? You can't cheat, you can't cheat this shit. You gotta get the full Lunar to the Silver Star experience. That experience is reloading because you don't know what you're buying. Once again, it's like Obama's fucking Medicare bill. Just pass it, you dumb fuck. You don't need to know what's in it. How far back is this? Oh, actually, good. It's actually great. Word up. Thank you, past me, for not fucking me in the ass here. Alright, um, so... The Meribia Armor Shop is... Like, we've surpassed it, really. Um, the Cool Robe and the Carapace Armor are as good as one another, but Carapace Armor is more defense. But it's not worth the 2700. I'd rather just hold on to the Cool, uh, Cool Robe. Fuck the full experience, I just wanted to buy good stuff with my hard-earned money. But early games did annoy me with this shit. Save scum all the way. Well, that's the thing, though, is at that point, you might as well just play the newer games. Which I also do, play the newer games. But also kind of admire how far we've come. We have come far, although, you know, there was that time in, like, what was it, like the late 2000s, early 20-teens, where JRPGs were just, like, fucking dead. For no goddamn reason. Well, in that case, we might as well just say fuck the axe and buy the saber, although... <laughs> or I now have an obsession with the axe, but, uh, you know, we fucking surpass it, we might as well buy the saber. But let's just see what else we can buy. I think over here, right, is the only other shop. Let's just check out the, uh, the magic store. After this, the only thing really fuck around with is Vein. Yeah, we got gloves, we got headbands. I'll admire it with the guide right next to me. <laughs> Just weird, right? Because like you can't even make the argument of like, oh, there wasn't enough space on the uh, the media to hold it. It's like this is a CD, motherfucker. You can fit like a thousand Super Nintendo ROMs on this fucking thing. Like, how much is a Super Nintendo ROM? Like, twelve megabytes. Maybe 48, if it's like a hefty fucking game. CD is like what, like a fucking third of a gig or some shit? There, I got the full robe. Charm, I don't want to spend the money on. Played too many early games to go back. Even if I did, I would just revert to my 10 year old self and save scum. <laughs> Yeah, me, it's just, there's like, god, like, especially in this generation, right, this is kind of like the shame, this is like one of the reasons I do what I do, is this era, there were so many goddamn JRPG games, Say, and like in the PlayStation 1 generation, it was insane too, and they started to peter off, and then they died for a bit, now there's a bit of resurgence, which is very appreciated. Alright, fuck it, I guess we're buying the saber. It's expensive, but we'll be able to, like, one-shot shit like crazy.
And uh, we can also say that we are done with the shops of Moribia. Just sad that I was never able to experience the axe. But a uh, pro tip for anyone playing this game in the future, don't buy any armor here. You will get some kick-ass armor when uh, Alex is alone in the uh, Cave of Trials or whatever the hell it's called. Status, what we got? 60, 36, 20. Only up to 70. God damn, that's like a fucking expensive ass fucking boost for plus 10. Ah, so it's kind of expecting more. I could buy the charm or I could just look up what the fucking charm does. Um, the charm. Fuck. I guess I'll buy one. Oh, wait, wrong place. But yes, Vayne is now our go-to for buying shit. It shows it that it can be equipped by them, right? Uh, well, these are items. I guess if it's a one-time use item, it says the same thing. Alright, let's uh, check out his stats. 60, 94, 15, 11, 59. Is that the same that he had right before? I actually forget. Oh, 69. Okay, anti-magic goes up by uh, 10, I think. Well, that's actually pretty significant, honestly. Yeah, that's actually pretty fucking significant. Um, I'm not really sure how anti-magic works. Is it like a magic evasion in Final Fantasy VI, where it's actually a percentage? Hmm. You know, if so, though, wouldn't I, like, rather have, like, anti-magic be this motherfucker? I mean, actually, kind of, right? Because his anti-magic is, like, half of the amount, right? So I'd actually rather give him the fucking charm. Yeah, that's actually not bad. At 31 to... 41. Yeah. All right. Fuck it. We'll uh, we'll go with that. It's actually not bad. I was actually afraid that'd be like a one-time use. Like it increases your defense in one battle by two. Also, you would never have any way of knowing this. So uh, I will I will take that gladly. Cool. All right. Um. They sell charms in vain as well, I think. So we don't really have any reason to ever go back to Moribia. So the next kind of goal or the next area of our focus is just gonna be vain and I guess the uh, the other town. God damn, not that I'm complaining, but you go from... Oh, also, let's check out up here again. I go from, like, zero random encounters to infinite random encounters. Yeah, so you gotta remember this thing, which is weird and spooky. And then there's also this bigger ring of rocks that's also spooky and weird. Then we have the land of a thousand lakes, and then this fucking thing is right here. Yeah. Yeah. 
That's crazy that you skip the leather armor and the carapace armor entirely. There's there's actually like no reason to buy that shit at all. Kind of like in Trials of Mana, right? Where they're like, every town you get to, there's like two new upgrades for armor, but they're almost the same price, and one is just better than the other one. So it's like, I don't really understand why I would do anything but buy this one. Where, where the fuck is the slut? Fuck! I'm looking for a dirty slut. There you are. I wonder if any of these guys uh, trigger a Jessica line of dialogue. I don't think so. I think they were smart enough to make it so um, everyone before you would see the mayor's house doesn't trigger a Jessica line of dialogue. I do like that though. Although um, a lot of the uh, the dialogue when it's like one party member. While it does build character, it's a little bit too much wink wink nudge nudge. Especially, um, fucking Null. No, Null no, no, is a little bit overbearing. I'm not really sure what the phrase "let sleeping dogs lie" means, but I'm assuming it means don't pet a dog when they're sleeping and they're really, really, really cute because <laughs> they're like barking and kicking and shit. All right, um, let's see. What what we at? Level 25, 20, 23. Cool. All right, look pretty good. Go up here and down here. And then there's this bullshit down here, which is a hidden door. Haha, <laughs> lol, very funny. Nah, just, just go for in for the attack. Jesus. I hope she still has the wood shield I gave her, right? Like she would have that? Yes, okay, good. And we have a whole bunch of starlight and like smoked fish and dragon ring and all sorts of weird shit. Good. Good, good, good. Leaves a little litany on herself. Motherfucker. All right, so we are doing a decent amount more damage. It'd just be nice if the saber upgrade was bigger than the claw. Learned the Thunder Fang spell. Shit, alright. Let me try it. I guess so far, if like my, my advice to people who would be playing this game would probably be anytime you're out of town and there's like new weapons, of the new weapons that you have not seen before in previous towns, buy the cheapest one. Same goes for armor. Because the price versus the increase for the more expensive shit just isn't worth it. Right, no, are we gonna fight you now, bro? A uh, little, little knee on yourself. Good. Yeah, I probably could have just walked down here and done this shit. I'm sure people who've played this before were probably like, screaming when I left the fucking cave. Hey, you kids, what business do you have bothering me, Dragon Master Zok? What? You've come here to take me down? 
<laughs> How delightful. I shall enjoy teaching you a lesson or two about deadly force. <laughs> Stand your ground, law, motherfucker. All right, what are we doing here? Um, Wait, I don't think I use the music. Or no, I guess I can't use any of this shit. Battle, interesting. All right. Um, AI attack, magic. Wait, what item do you got? Cascadering. Yeah, but why does Ice Cane show up in like, like I don't think uh, this shit doesn't glow, does it? No. Weird. It's almost like you can use it for a, a magic spell, but I can't, right? Because like these, I can't select as like an use, you know, as an item in battle. But ice cane, I can, and I thought that it, you just choose it and you attack with it, but apparently not. Yeah, let me look that up. I, I'm fucking. Maybe it's supposed to cast an ice spell, but it just doesn't. Ice cane. Ice cane. Attack power, special effect, ice attack, vein. But it doesn't. But it doesn't. I tried it. It doesn't. That's what. What the fuck? What am I missing here? All right. Well, uh, we could use the cascadering. Yeah. Fuck it. Cascadering. Then we'll have him also AI. Oh. Oh god, they're just kicking the shit out of him. Alright, goodbye, fucking Nash. Jesus Christ. Couldn't even do anything there. Alright, well, fuck him. We didn't need him anyway. We didn't want him anyway. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, you just start spamming the, uh, the Calm Litany? Yeah. Well, they had full health anyway. Why did he move? I assumed that she was gonna move less. Actually. Yeah, just keep attacking him. All right, maybe it's good that I bought that fucking thing. Yeah, they just like all went for fucking... That was like turn one. There's like not a goddamn thing I could do about that one. Maybe like preemptively do a Calm Lindy, but I had full health. Like, why would I do that? I'm not going to anticipate that he's going to kick the shit out of me. Well, good job, Alex. Fucking just taking down four dragons. Well, 160 silver, suck my ass. I can't believe it, you've beaten me. This is embarrassing, I just want to curl up and die. Tell you the truth, I never was a dragon master. But you must have figured that out already. I promise I'll mend my ways. Will you give me a chance? Well, I guess so. Forget it, buster. I don't know, you try to kill me, right? I'm telling you, you're not going to make any progress until you forgive me. Oh, so it's the Dragon Quest shit, aren't you? Um, you might as well get it over with and get on with this game. I can wait a lot longer than you can, believe me. <laughs> Fuck, why, why do the Japanese think this is the funniest fucking thing ever? They think it's so fucking funny. This is like the epitome of comedy. They're like, oh, just put it in every game. It was so funny. Remember that in Dragon Quest 1? I shat my pants. All right, well, I guess so. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I promise I'll be better. You'll see. Yeah, Galeon's going to beat the shit out of us. He's like, you know what? You let him go? Oh, 
Oh, is Nash like almost dead? All right. Uh, shit. Magic. Um, little litany. Oh, and Nash. So it's only sometimes? What the fuck? Okay, so you had to be in range of the enemy, I guess. Like, you can't have moved first. Otherwise, it's a regular attack. And then it's just a light ice splash damage? Maybe it's a fire enemy, but goddamn, that doesn't seem cool at all. Watch, it like shatters the rod, too. No, it doesn't. Once again, in like, um... Final Fantasy V, the rod shatter, and I feel like some people would be like, oh my god, that's awful. It's like, no, 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 no. Because the rods use level 3 elemental magic. And so, <laughs> buying those for what, like 750 gold at the, uh, like the fire town, and then just like killing that fire boss in the first town by having your entire party just crack the rods over their knee, that is so fucking awesome. Fuck, Final Fantasy V is like, hey, try to break me. It's like, no mind if I do. I mean, honestly, Final Fantasy VI, VII, and VIII were the same way. Like, that era of Final Fantasy, they were, like, really into allowing the player just to, I don't know, like, hey, here's some tools. And, uh, every boss and encounter has, has some way to completely break it. It is up to you to... Well, I mean, you don't have to figure it out, but if you want to, go for it. As I know, that's really rewarding to me. Let's use the, uh... Palm Litany. Magic, Little Litany. I really think they fucked that up though. Little litany and power litany being different. I feel like those two should be swapped. At yeah, 255 HP. All right, keep on sipping away at the coffee, and we'll I guess we'll meet up with Galen and see what the fuck's going on. Gold counter. Eh, 1162. Not terrible. Honestly, I was expecting worse. Might be able to buy something when we go back to Vayne. Magic. Uh, Calm Litany. I'll do another calm let me. Fuck it. Oh, was Nash always uh, able to attack twice or no? I guess everyone can attack twice, yeah? Or maybe that's new. I don't know. I actually can't tell. Take out Luna and then the, the fat kid from the beginning of the game. I think those two... Wait a minute, come on. Lamer. Thunder Wave. I guess it's attack. Because those two can only attack once. I mean, why is Jessica's sprite like black or Indian or some shit? See that? I mean, she's got like a way darker skin complexion than normal. I mean, she looks normal there. I don't fucking know, dude. She's wearing a hood there. 
Her sprite doesn't look like she's wearing a hood. I don't know. She's wearing like some sort of weird tiara. The fusion litany spell. The fuck does that do? I swear I'm not rowing this thing again if we come back here. <laughs> Wait, does she get more and more angry <laughs> as we sail back and forth? I wonder if that's a uh, Easter egg. It's like when you call Mei Ling too many times in Metal Gear Solid 1. Where it's like, fuck you, I'm not saving your game, Snake. It's not cool. Snake, you're driving me crazy. That really was a great little adventure. Let's do it again sometime. I guess this is goodbye for now. I'll see you guys later. So long. All right, bitch. Enjoy the wooden shield that you're stealing. You dirty slut. I have the best boat in the whole village. Did I ask you to? <laughs> well, no, you didn't. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. Hey, do you want to go over to the other shore? Did I ask you to? Well, no. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> it's fucking really funny. <laughs> like, why did not we make Alex a sarcastic, loathsome dick? I like it. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. Did I ask you to, you motherfucking cock-sucking piece of shit? My mom told me that I shouldn't get too far away from the village because of all the monsters, but I'm not afraid. Alright, let's just fucking go over and talk to the mayor. I don't think he's anything. Thank you for stopping that imposter on the island. I knew he was a fake. Find out what a boss is? Uh, let's see. Thank you for saving my fishing business. I'll save some fish for you and all. Oh, I can hardly wait. My mouth is watering. So he wasn't a dragon master after all. What a relief if he were a dragon master and he really was evil. No one could stop him, except maybe Althena herself. No one in this world that can stop him if a dragon master was evil. Or if that's foreshadowing. Hi Alex, thanks for returning peace and quiet to Lan. Alright, let's, let's, let's talk to this guy then. It's a relief to hear that you chase away that evil sorcerer. Now my husband can rest peacefully at night, which means I can too. Or he would beat my ass daily out of frustration. So I guess Master Galen was right after all. He chased away the fake Dragon Master. Thank you all. Weird how, like, when you go into the houses, they don't say anything new. Sing girl is gone. This is obviously the work of that evil dragon master. I heard that you guys defeated him, so did you find the girl too? No? There was no girl with him? Hmm. Wonder where that girl went then. Maybe she went to the big city. This old man's just, like beating off outside her window every day, that's why she had to move. Ah, so the phony wasn't a dragon master after all, I knew it. To become a dragon master, you have to gain power equal to the four dragons. They say Master Galeon is the only one left who can become one. One who has a chance of it's Galeon of Vain, is that true? Ah, oh, you defeated the fake Dragon Master, you must be really strong. Say, were the black monsters I saw with him? No, that's weird, I saw them with my own eyes. Hmm. Were there two motherfuckers? Is that what we're like hinting at, maybe? Oh, thank you. Like, like one just bumbling fake and one like legitimately evil like Spectre. That's probably Galeon. Oh, thank you. You've brought peace back to our little village. I know how to thank you properly. What can I do to show you my appreciation? I can think of. Wait, let's read like gay. Gee here. I can think of a thing or two. Nash, you pervert. Jeez, always twisting an innocent situation. You're sick. Yeah, she probably was gonna uh, fuck him before you piped in and all, you cock-blocking piece of shit. Everything worked out, just like I said. So again, don't think for a second that women are innocent or not horny. Um, I used to have seafood business here, but I've gone bankrupt. 
It's kind of sad, but at least now my house smells much better. All right, same thing. But this chick is apparently gone, yeah? Yeah. Weird. And maybe I can, like, investigate inside the house. Maybe there's something. I don't know what. Nah, nothing. Uh, welcome to the fishing village of Lynn. Thanks to you, everything's back to normal. You tried our delicious fish. And we could go deeper into the continent, um, further to the west from here, but I'd rather just go over to Vane and keep the story going along. It's probably going to be our next story uh, point anyway to go. Get Thunderfang. So yeah, if your single target magic um, dies before you have a chance to cast a spell, um, your mage just defaults to attack, which is kind of annoying. Kind of rather than just use the spell on the next similar enemy, you know? Oh, cool. That was a pretty fucking strong one. Thunderfang, huh? Yeah, flamer and thunder wave. Just to fucking end it as soon as possible, honestly. Jesus. Yeah, the random encounter um, roles in this game definitely are weird. I remember hearing that that's like just inconsistent. Alright, so south just goes to the Nanza. Keep wanting to say the Lanza barrier. And then I want to dive into uh, fucking conspiracies that will get the channel shut down. Does anyone else think that's fucking weird, by the way? That, like, you know, if I say, oh, I think the Titanic uh, never sank, I don't think those people actually died. You know, like, I'm weird, maybe even seen as an idiot, but, uh, you know, okay. But if I point out a certain uh, Massachusetts State school event from, like, 2012, having some government involvement or some uh, subterfuge or some, you know, uh, deceit elements involved, let's put it that way, then, you know, you can get fined for, like, a billion dollars set by the president by the uh, Alex Jones trial. Does anyone else think that shit is just a little bit fucking weird and suspicious? No, because uh, Alex Jones is evil. I hate him, so let's set legal precedent that will, you know, Fuck with the freedom of speech. I don't know, it's insane to me. I uh, kind of like Final Fantasy 1 being annoying with how it doesn't move over to the next target if it dies. Yeah, but honestly, um, Final Fantasy 1 is kind of built around that. Like, because if you take that out, Final Fantasy 1 just becomes a really, really bland JRPG. Final Fantasy 1 is... Uh, memorable because of its weird fucking gimmicks and what it was going for. It's, it's so weird seeing Adol here. That is like a thousand percent supposed to be Adol. Weird. Weird. Um, what are we doing? I knew you were going to say that. Well, what, Final Fantasy 1 is a good game. It actually is. It's one of the better 8-bit um, JRPGs you can play. Easily in the top 5. 
Not that there's that much competition for 8-bit JRPGs. A lot of 8-bit JRPGs were fucking cancerously bad. I mean, they were still learning, you know, I, I understand. But goddamn. We excuse what we like to excuse in the end and rationalize it in our mind. What? As far as 8-bit JRPGs go, Final Fantasy 1 is one of the better ones. It really is. Um, what? What would be the top five? Probably, uh, Dragon Quest 3 and 4, Final Fantasy 3 and 1, and then Fantasy Star 1. That would probably be, like, the top five right there. Now, you know, what order you would put those five in, it's probably up to you, but, like, damn, I really... Final Fantasy 2 definitely sucks. Final Fantasy, uh, Dragon Quest 2 is dry. Let's use that word. Um, dry and bloated, and then something like a Mother One is just a terrible fucking game. Alright, so we have a saber. Long sword would be the next thing. Long sword and fire cane. Jesus fucking Christ, that's a lot of money. And the free ice attack isn't even fucking good. It's really not. I don't know, maybe use against certain enemies is probably good. I mean, yeah, it's a free magic attack, but at that point, you're better off just walking up and whacking them with it. Because you would actually legitimately do more damage. And the magic robe, which is insanely expensive. Like, wow. Alright, magic robe two swords they sell I might as well our uh, fire cane the crazy ass sword the magic robe anything else we're saving for watch the long swords only five points more in attack it might be honestly it's crazy how expensive some of the shit is loot that does I think it's like a one-time yeah isn't it just like a one-time party full heal I found that out by using one Could be another charm for uh, Nash, but then again, they don't really use a whole like they being the enemies of this game don't really use magic spells against me, not yet anyway. Different part of our continent is the barren wasteland of the frontier. They say that's barren because of the light from the gas Althinia does not shine there. Heard about the rumor about the Magic Emperor. They say he's amassing a force from the Vile Tribe to break from the very frontier. I wonder if he uh, turns out to be a good guy, honestly. It'd be kind of interesting. I kind of like that trope in uh, fantasy. Where it's like your leaders are actually evil, and then the other side, they're like, you know, all oh, the foreigners that we don't know anything about are actually like, nah, dude, those guys are just fucking dicks, dude. Oh, what's up, Perth? How you doing? Get the feeling that the shop prices were adjusting by working designs, not the money drop. Yeah. It's um it's pretty high fucking price, dude. They definitely uh did something. No way they didn't, you know working designs. You defeated the vicious wizards in the village of land? It's quite a feat for an experienced magician. I can't believe it. Welcome to the guild mansion. Mia and Galien reside in here. Lemia hasn't been herself lately. She's been so out of touch lately. I'd watch what I say around her. Lemmy has all the people in the guild mansion here walking on eggshells. She's so angry lately. Must be that time of the month, typical woman. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside. <laughs> Sleepy getting ready for bed and getting some milk. Well, if I drink milk, you know what happens? I shit everywhere. Yeah, I, yeah what was it? Like, it was like 28. I like turned 28, then all of a sudden, nope. I just, I couldn't stop shitting. Uh, this is the main hall. Lemia only uses it when she has guests. You can keep it knocking, but don't come in. Uh, let's see. The leader of the Vein Magic Guild was Lemia, uh, Lemia Ausa, who was once one of the four heroes. She's beautiful, very kind. She's been different lately. Um, shit. Okay, 
yes, this used to be the, the teaching section. What was the... Yeah, lactose intolerance. Yeah, it's weird. It just happened. It was fucking... All of a sudden, body change. I don't know. Sacred Tower of Crystal is the most important place in all vain. At the top of it lies the Room of Stars. I forget, what's the name of the uh, the Dragon Master that's buried in Alex's hometown of, like, Berg? What's that fucker's name called? So we got Lemia, Galian, and, uh... Fuck, I already forget. Mel. There we go. Below is the underground prison where those that disobeyed the guild are detained. Why do they beat me? I'm so confused. Yeah, they also arrest people and throw them in prison. And they're like, I mean, you know, whether evil or not evil, they would say that they're innocent. Yes. But uh, she doesn't know that there's a lawyer right be. <laughs> she doesn't think. See, there's no way she thinks there's a lawyer right over here. Mel is Jessica's dad. Yes, I know that one. Dine. Okay, so Dine is the Dragon Master. Dine, Mel, Galeon, and Lemia. And then we have uh, Mia, which we have pictures of, and Mia and Nash beat off right onto the picture together every night while camping in our travels. Because I don't know what the fuck else that picture is for. Lately, Lemia has been acting very strange. She'll lock people up in the underground prison for no reason. It's weird. So what does this guy say? I think this is some new dialogue. Congratulations, I heard they took care of the problem in Lan. Now you get to enter Galen's Elite Academy. I mean, you got the toe jams for it. If you try hard enough, Master Galen might put in a good word for you with Lemia. What's happening to Lemia? If we didn't have Master Galen to cover for her, the reputation of Vayne's magic good would be mud by now. Uh, so the business in Lan is concluded. Good. You better tell Master Galian. Yeah, even like that. Like, good. And he's like some dark-ass fucking knight. He's there in Galian's office. They're probably banging. They're probably gang-raping uh, Lamia. Or Lamia's just a crazy bitch. I don't fucking know. Ah, young Alex. He did succeed after all. I'm quite impressed. See, he, he's even talking evil. Like, this guy's obviously evil. We always have room for eager, bright students such as yourself. See, he like he wouldn't be talking like this if he wasn't evil. I foresaw your return and spoke with Lemmy already. She's waiting in the throne room. See, definitely fucking evil. Great job, Alex, but you better not keep Lemmy waiting. You know, one thing's been on my mind, Alex. Where did you pick up that interesting little ring shaped like a dragon? From Quark? Hmm. I can't believe that old white dragon is still around. I thought I killed him! <laughs> Alex, someday soon you'll have to take me to his lair. We have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> yeah, so that guy's apps. That guy's definitely evil. Otherwise, he wouldn't be laughing like that. Alright, so what, what, what am I doing? I'm going to Lemia's quarters now? He's got, like, the fucking pinky on the side of his mouth, like he's Dr. Evil. One million dollars. The duty of these soldiers is to protect Lemmy at any cost. You better not be misbehave in Lemmy's presence, or she'll have you sent to the prison. She'll put you on the train to Auschwitz. Vane's most elite magicians are going to join the Magic Guard to strengthen it. To get into the Magic Guard, you must be strong, fast, powerful, and handsome. Wait, what? After all, who wants to be rescued by an ugly guy? <laughs> I like that. As long as <laughs> the, the Magic Guard stands, Vayne will be safe. You're quite the Magic Guard. Your job, our job, is to defend the tranquility of Vayne. I think I'm sick, a bunch of minstrels. Weird. 
I wish I could get a new magic trumpet. Do you like to hear us play music? No, I forgot my earplugs. That's kind of rude to put it, but okay, maybe some other time. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I don't know. The translation goes from, like, retarded to, like, trying too hard to legitimately funny. I don't know. All right, then listen to this. So what do you think? Uh, there's some satisfaction in acquiring the skill to play without magic. Play music without magic. We are the members of the Vane Orchestral Wonder. Alright, I've practiced every day, so we'll always sound great. Tickets to our upcoming concert will be on sale soon. Lemmy should be here pretty soon, so just sit tight. Oh, Alex, these days my mother is acting so strange. It's as if I don't even know her anymore. I'm so frightened. Oh, watch this. Watch this, like, uh, Galian just murdered Lemia, and there's, like, some sort of weird-ass fucking, like, specter that he's created. Like a homunculi or some shit. What? Ah! <laughs> What the fuck was she doing behind the curtain? Spooky. I am Lemia Ausa, appointed leader of the Vein Magic Guild. She's also definitely evil. Oh, so you must be Alex. Galen told me all about you, but he didn't say what a filthy urchin you are. Ooh, I'm actually kind of turned on. What will I do with a waif like you? She's like, starts whipping me and shit. I'm like, oh yeah! Uh, admit you into the glorious magic guild of Vane? I think not. Guards, guards! Send this boy to more appropriate surroundings in the prison. Hey kid, get over here. We got a nice cell for you. Wow, Null just... <laughs> Fuck you, Null. Fucking dick. Just like phase through the wall too. Huh. <laughs> He's like, all right, well, this looks like it's between uh, you and her. I'm just gonna go back home to Berg. Go fuck yourself, Alex. Bye. Nal came and asked me for help. All right, Nal, you fucker. I got my eye on you. I'm looking over her shoulder. Alex, forgive my mother. I think she's under some sort of curse. To break it, we need the goddess's mirror from the top of the silver spire. Enter the spiral, you'll need your dragon's ring. Good thing they didn't take all your shit away from you. Will you help me, Alex? <laughs> no, that sounds too hard. You're right, Alex. I've asked too much. It's okay. We can leave my mom cursed forever. <laughs> what happened? Back here so soon. <laughs> this sounds hard, dude. I'd rather just hang out of here. Great, I knew I could count on you. Now then, you're looking for the Mirror of Althenia. It's on t the top floor of the Silver Spire. It's supposed to dispel evil. Prison key received. Yeah, good thing they let me keep my sword. And they're also blind, deaf, and dumb. That's it, Alex. I need to come around here sooner or later. Let's get down to business. Don't worry, Mia. We're on the case. Alright, what the fuck does she have? Uh, what if I give you this picture of you? You vain ass bitch. <laughs> Can you imagine having like a locket around your neck with a picture of yourself in it? <laughs> That's fucking awesome. I appreciate your grind, Seth. All right, well, what do we? What do you got though? A cane, a magic robe. Motherfucker. I can equip the garlic in case we like encounter some crazy ass bitch. No, I can't even do that. Weird. Fuck, I should have taken that uh ice cane away from what's his nuts. 
I'm the head of the magic guard. Let me put me in here for no good reason. She's replaced me with a new commander. Why? Why ask why? I'm God. Why is why is Null such a dick? She too uses it to get off at night. Since <laughs> self cessed as wind says. Some next level vanity. I was just asking Lemia how her day was going. She locked me up in here. Can you believe that? I've seen sudden changes in personality before, but it was always after a curse was placed on someone. Do you think Lemia's cursed? We have a hero from Dragon Quest IV as well here. Um, or five, I should say. I just heard Lemia that I heard the goddess was missing from the tower, and she threw me in here. Can you believe that? What's up, bro? We've been given special instructions to keep people away from these cells. Even me is prohibited from getting to them. This is the only one that won't open. Apparently, it needs a special key. I wonder what this bitch is. I wonder if this bitch is uh, Luna. Maybe. I don't know. Mia, you can't free a prisoner without permission. I'll take responsibility for this. If my mother has any problems, send her to me. Uh, Mia, remember, I'm sleeping. Honk shoo, honk shoo. I didn't see any of this. Honk shoo. Well, Mia, that guy was put in the prison by your mother direct order. Where are you taking? Sorry, I forgot myself. Please proceed. At the order of Lemia, the defense of the two towers has been increased tenfold. They put a lot more monsters inside of it to guard it. Why was this necessary? It's kind of weird that, you know, we're putting, like, crazy-ass monsters in the fucking place. Weird. The Order of Lemia, the defense of... Okay, same, same shit. What level is she? Alright, 23. Alright. 326. We're all very worried about the sun changes. Mia seems to be most concerned. Mia, please tell your mother that we are waiting for her return to her old ways. We want her to teach in this room again. Oh, Mia, uh, Lemia isn't available right now. He may come inside, but Lemia isn't available right now. He's behind the curtain again. Those delicious beef curtains. Hello, Mia. How are you doing today? Mia, your mother's not here. They say the same shit. Oh, Mia, what's really wrong with Lemia? I'm at a loss. I can't help but think she's been replaced with a twin. Yeah, it's like some sort of weird-ass homuncula. I wonder if the r real one's been murdered. Or wait, maybe the real one's in the uh, that jail cell. Huh. Y yeah, actually, that probably is. Are you making progress in your magical studies, Mia? Keep up the good work. Mia should stop turning at that old academy and come study here. Tutoring. Uh, she could really be a great sorceress if she did. Yeah, I really hate to say this in front of you, but your mother's been acting very strange lately. I could suggest that to her at an appropriate time, Mia. Oh, Mia, uh, has Nash asked you out yet? Ask me out. Uh, nothing. Nash is a big old pussy. Then again, they do sell, like, uh, nudes of her at the local shop, so Mia must be a slut. I think that guy was put in the underground prison by Lemia. Well, let's ask Master Galeon for help. Oh, he's also mysteriously gone. Lemia has changed quite a bit lately, and not for the better. If this keeps up, Master Galeon plans on having her removed as head of the Magic Guild of Vane. Oh, is that what he's gonna do? It's like, oh, I can't believe right in front of our noses, uh, Lemia's been evil. I, I will be the new head of the guild. So what is Galen? He's like the master of the guild. Oh, well, Lemia is the master of the guild of Vane, and Galen is the lord of Vane. So he just wants like both power, both like church and state kind of thing. The Lemia's some um, big secret ceremony in the Room of Stars. What's up, Greer? How are you? 
Where am I? I am in vain. Uh, maybe you should go to the top of the Crystal Tower with what's going on. We have killed a fake, uh, well, not killed. We actually let him just fucking walk off without doing anything. Um, almost killed. We have stopped a, uh, I just got the pass to get into Vane. Nice. So this is my second trip into Vane. Well, well, if it isn't Mia serving the needs of Master Alex. Oh, this is precious. The fuck? All right, dude. Way to be mad. You want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Shit. Miz left everything in Master Galen's hands. There's nothing left to fear. Like, I'm telling you, like, kind of skip through the dialogue too quick in this game. Do you want to make more money? Sure, we all do. Well, just for a hundred silver, I can get you started on the road to an exciting new career in any one of these exciting fields. Herbal healing, sorcery, evil containment, dragon slaying, leeching, and many others. Alex, if you're dumb enough to fall for this, I'll disown you. What happened to Luna? Oh, wait, this isn't Luna. This is Mia. Um, Luna, we have still not seen yet. Not from since, like, the beginning. Uh, welcome, Mia, my dear. What? And why would you even be asking, Grier? You can't be, like, trying to get spoilers for yourself. Oh, God. Welcome, Mia, my dear. What? Why would you say that? I'm no fake. Oh, Lily. I'm just moving my legs, baby girl. <laughs> God. They get so upset when you, like, move. Dogs are like, no, stay right there. Stay right where you are. I'm comfortable. Oh, so I'm going to be going on uh, for a while. This is going to be an extra long stream. Um, A, because it just was a fucking stressful work week. B, yesterday kind of sucked. And also C, yesterday I did my taxes. And also I guess D, we didn't play this yesterday. So this is going to be a long stream of this shit. Luna's with me on PS1. Wait, what? Really? In vain? It's your first time in vain? Interesting. Don't give anything away to me, but that's fucking weird that they would change something that drastically for the PS1 game. Huh. There are story differences between the Sega CD Lunar and PlayStation Lunar. Really? Um... Is there a general consensus on which one is better, though? It's actually crazy, huh? Well, well, well. If it isn't Mia serving these of Master Alex, wait, is is um, Luna as broken in the PS1 game as she is in this one? Because if so, holy shit! Like I, I'd be spamming that two times attack, like that double attack power spell, all the fucking time. That's like way too good. I don't think these guys say anything new. Good lord, so all this one is. Mia, will you autograph my binder? Sure, I'd be happy to. Have you always stuttered? <laughs> oh, Mia, it's good to see you in person, just not just from a distance of a dirty window. <laughs> Did that mean what I think it meant? Sick. You find this lecture stuff to be boring or what? I hate it. I bet you'd be rather peeping into windows, you pervert. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's good, Skins? How you doing? Um, my Gable says, depends on what you play first. So far, I've enjoyed the PS1 version of the story more, but I did play that first. We get to on the boat to remember you at the last second. Alex is like, hold on. You staying behind is retarded. Jump on the moving boat. Then she does. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. No, I mean, I, I feel like that's kind of what, like, the other writers are also probably thinking if they ever played it. Then you get an anime FMV where she sings a Disney song on top of the ship at night. Cute. I kind of think it just builds the mystery, though, when she's not here, because, uh, I, I don't know, I have my, my theories of what she is. But then again, I feel like my theories of what she is is, like, very, very obvious. Like, holy shit. Uh, Rimzol is so competitive. She's always trying to show up to the other academies. I mean, I didn't see you there. Isn't Rimsol the most decrepit windbag? Jesus. Rimsol is so competitive, he's always trying to show up at other academies. 
When Nash comes to my class, I let him take any seat he wants. He still knows the value of instruction. Uh, you going on for more than an hour, Fissa? Um, yeah, probably. I mean, shit, we're only uh, two and a half hours in. I mean, normally I go three hours in general, but definitely at least three and a half. Probably gonna try for four. Once again, I... I this weekend, this week and weekend has been like, ugh, but uh, I mean, I don't know, man, I, I might even fucking take fucking Monday off, honestly, I, it was like just an ungodly, I, I don't know why it was fucking so stressful, man, I mean, I guess I started studying again recently, I've had that on my plate, but also, uh, uh, my direct boss has not been at work for the last week, I mean, you know, planned. Uh, personal shit. Um, but that does mean that I had, like, more responsibility. So, I don't know. Oh my god, hold up. Sorry, my dog is... She's, like, wait... <laughs> she's waking up and, like, rubbing her eyes with her paw and yawning. <laughs> Curled up. And she's... She is... You guys... She's very fucking cute. She's a very cute dog. She's, like, softly scratching her face with her foot. And now I'm scratching where she was trying to scratch with her foot. And now she's giving my hand dog kisses. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this dog is so fucking precious. Uh, let's see. Doing alright, tried out different church today. Going insane, trying to decide what car to get to the future. Yeah, personally, I, I don't uh, go to church, but like, um, I am, I am, a, I guess, religious or I guess spiritual, I guess is the correct word. But um, I was always like, when it comes to churches, it's weird because there's like a whole bunch of denominations of different like feels, and then there's like the weird like super church shit, where like the pastor flies in the helicopter, he's like, "Give me all your money and Israel the rest of your money." And it's like, what the fuck? So, ah, nah. I bet you it always gave me anxiety, but yeah, no, it's something I've considered. Um, not going to that one, but again, a more normal one. I'll be back then. On the tail end, I usually do something after you stream, but if you're going to go for that long, you take care of something. I got you. I appreciate you dropping in, man. Once again, right now, I'm like, my dog is being like way too cute and appreciative of me scratching her ear for her. So, I mean, I have to take a break here. <laughs> Yeah. All right, you're too precious. You're too precious, Layla. Goddamn. All right, dear Mia, are you making progress in your magical studies? I hope you're keeping up. All right. Let's check out the other study hall. What was that? Or was that one actually the other study hall? I don't even fucking remember. Is that the other one? Yeah, yeah, all right, so those both study halls. What is this other building down to the south? It is kind of neat, though, how they may give this town, like, a uh, fucking college campus vibe to it. It's kind of neat. I kind of appreciate that. Galen, one of the four heroes, was a close friend of Master Dine, and Master Galen is assisting Lemia as the premier of Vane. I don't like the fact that Galen's been so quiet since Dine's death. It really worries me, but I suppose it was a serious shock, even though it happened long ago. As Dragon Master, Dine's magic power was astounding. He used his power wisely and confronted all kinds of terrible enemies that would have overrun us if it were not for him. Master Galen has a strong magic aura like Dine. In fact, it may be stronger. Fascinating. Yeah, I really, I actually really like the plot. Oh yeah, there's the library. Got it. What happened? We stalked the head of the library. Ah, me and my dear, welcome. Can I help you find something? Yeah, I really actually like the like the vibe of this game. I like the world. I like the plot. Um, my only issue, which probably was meant in the PlayStation One game, um, it, it's just the the like how opaque the items are and equipment. The armor of the dragons that the Dragon Master uses is in each dragon's cave. Dragons must let you take it. The world was changed by magic power. Dragon Master is lorded over the black, white, red, and blue dragons. 
But yeah, um, so I, I like the, the vibes of this game. You read one of these books each day, you'll be done a thousand years. Master Galen is said to have read them all, if you can believe that. So yeah, so I am definitely uh, enjoying... Yeah, honestly, I'm probably enjoying Lunar more than any of the fantasy stars so far. Once again, I think if... We could try to, like, gear her up real quick. Let's see if we can do that. What, what magic spells does she have? I need luck lit, luck lit me. Deep protect. All right, then probably weakens them. Ice attack, flame, or full stone. I guess we'll figure out what those do. If you could, like, take elements that I liked the most from each of the Fantasy Star games, um, you could probably make an ultimate RPG, and honestly, I really hope... I, you know, I think I heard that um, Sega was going to do something with Fantasy Star. I think it's going to be another online game, which is not what I would want, but whatever. Well, Mia, it's quite unusual to see you on the streets. It's a nice change. You need to get out of the Guild Mansion more often. Welcome to the Mercantile of Vain. I do not want to buy another one of those. Oh hey, wait, can I buy her gloves? What does she have? Might be able to buy her like gloves and shit. Yeah, just like real cheap, real cheap, uh, basic bitch ass upgrade. Status, uh, let's see, 31, 10, 78. Thirty-three. An anti-magic. If we got her the uh, charm, that could be boosted up to eighty-eight, which would actually be like really fucking sick. Not that we ever get hit by magic. We really don't, but that'd be neat to have. Open my shop of mystery and wonder. So that is a possibility to make her pretty much invulnerable. Well, relatively speaking, pretty much invulnerable to magic. But once again, we don't really get hit by magic yet, so that hasn't been a problem yet. Cool robe she has. Magic robe we sure shit can't buy. We can brought buy her a uh, bracelet. And tiara. Does she not have a bracelet or a tiara? No, she does not. Alright, so let's see what we got. Um... 331078 All right, anti magic up by 2, defense power up by uh 3. 361080 All right, up by 5 magic, anti magic, defense power up. All right, so she's got some decent defense. Honestly, more defense than um fucking alley. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. Huh. Yara does quite a bit then. Hmm. She is very slow. She is just supposed to be magic. Magic lady. I guess. Sell the gloves we literally just bought. Anything else we can sell? No. Oh shit, we can buy a nice cane. Sick. Alright, and I guess we'll buy her a nice cane. Better than the magic cane. And there goes all of our money. All of our money gone. What do we get? Uh, 17... 85... 17 to 28. Damn, that's significant. Plus 11. Holy shit, like, that's near damn near double of what she already had. There we go. All right, if we did end up uh, buying her a charm or just handing her a charm, she would be invulnerable to magic, which we might, maybe we do want to do that. Yeah, let's try it. Although she's just, uh, do we want to do that though? I mean, it's already pretty high. 
No, because if she goes out of my party, like, you really you want Alex to be as strong as possible, because you have no clue when someone's going to leave your party or not. But, um, it probably would kick some serious ass to have that equipped on her. Never, like, damn near invulnerable to magic. Just take it. If you don't know the magic of transfer, if you, uh, you can't get to the, you can get to that crystal, tower through a secret passage in the Cave of Trial. It's probably where we have to go, honestly, if it's guarded. Ah, Mia, where do you think you're going? Even though you're Lemia's daughter, you must have her permission to leave Vayne or enter to the Silver Tower. Going into the Silver Spire without your mother's permission? It's not wise, says the laws of the guild. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Save here. I guess we'll go in here. Say, the dragon ring sparkled, didn't it? Maybe we can use its power. Is there anything here? I guess I could equip the dragon ring. I don't think it does anything equipped, which is a damn shame, but uh, you know, I guess we'll have it anyway. Ah, the Dragon Ring, Charm of Althenia. Hear my plea, open quickly, open sesame! Alex, we did it, the Charm of Althena has stopped working. Ooh, a magic robe? Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I just spent a thousand dollars on that dude. Motherfucker! Ah, uh, god damn it. Alright, this is what it is. Hmm. Whatever, we can sell it. I mean, fuck, we still like we ate 500 bucks. Mint essence, no clue what that does. Now we have some spooky boys. What do we got? Luck litany. Oh, does that just confuse them? Sick. All right, uh, D protect. I'm assuming that just makes them uh, take a lot more damage. Ice attack. Which is literally the same thing as just using the ice rod, so there's no reason for us to ever use that. But that's good to know. All right, so maybe the when we use the ice rod for its free ability, it just we were up against someone who's like you know magic resistant. So D protect makes them, I guess, lowers their natural defense. Ice attacks exactly what it sounds like. Luck confuses the entire enemy party, which is pretty good. Will needs a basic heal. Lamer is the same thing that Alex has. It's a basic full party fire attack. Full stone, I don't know what that does, so we'll figure that out. Full stone on that one. Ooh, all right, Dick. Oh, wow, they used fire on me, and it was one for both of them. Wow, okay. So they just little bitches then. Um, yeah, I guess this flamer. Fuck it. Magic. Uh, Calm Litany, fuck yeah. Cool spell, I like it. And then we can use a little Litany on Alex. Bring him up to damn near full HP. Jasmine, still don't know what does. I'm afraid to use that item in battle. Just because it's rare, I don't know. The game honestly has made me afraid to use my own items. Just fucked up. 
Luffy's flamer and flamer. We got 460 plus the 500 if we sold the cool robe. Yeah, we could buy another charm, but honestly, I think her magic defense is high enough. I mean, when the enemy uses a basic flamer, it only does one. Shouldn't have to worry too much. He's a little litany on us. Magic. Um, let's use a. All right, so she's got 109. What does Deep Protect do? All right, so it's only five. Look like it guarantees shit in terms of confusion. Oh no, no, we use Deep Protect, not a uh, luck. So Deep Protect was five. See how much that does. Yeah, I'm not even sure if that does anything. Maybe that takes away like buffs. Maybe. And Mia's level not good. Floor of Silver Spire. Cool. Tiara. Fuck, man. I don't know. It's just giving me all the shit that I just, I just bought for her. God damn. We're gonna get like a bracelet on the next floor. Motherfucker. Like, of course I'm gonna equip her before we go into the fucking spooky tower dungeon. Other starlight. It's crazy. They're giving me just a shit ton of those. Seed of Vigor. Um, I could use it on her to have her have more HP, but uh, Alex is always in my party. Is it 271? Wait, what? Seed of Vigor. Motherfucker, I assume that would be like a Dragon Quest seed and it would like permanently increase my HP. All right, so what's that do? Seed of Vigor. Restores a lot of your MP, good. Oh, and it costs 4,000 bucks. That's 2,000 that I could sell that fucking thing for it. Uh, that is so goddamn much that I am absolutely Rebooting, baby. Can I load? Oh, wait, wait. I can just load. I can load in game. I don't have to reset shit. Huh. All right. Well, that's fucking convenient. All right. Well, we learned something. I don't have to reboot the fucking system to load. I don't know why I didn't check that before. All right. He's a flamer. I think like this full stone do. I already forget what the fuck it does. Honestly, the regular attack does way more damage than a flamer. All right, full stone is just a lot of damage on one homie.
Attack, magic. Um, honestly, I feel like he's better off just attacking. Then let's see the luck litany. So he's, she's got 99 MP right now. Oh, God damn. How much does that use? From 99 to 83. What is that? Uh... Fucking 16 MP? God damn. All right, so... Like, that's good, but I mean, if we use that every battle, she just wouldn't have any fucking MP. We have a whole bunch of Starlight, though. Like, we can certainly um, use that shit. Honestly, we'd rather just use the Ice Can. So let's use the Calm Litany, heal up. Another Litany on Alex, cool. We're on the fifth floor of this fucking place. Seed of Vigor, um, selling it. Sure, it's a full MP boost, but 2,000 gold is, or silver I should say, is just a fuck ton. This, at this point in the game, anyway. Mm. I'd rather trade that for a sword, seriously. Because, I mean, look at all these starlights we have. Don't know what mint essence is. Or the smoked fish. I just look some of this shit up, honestly. It's all one-time use, and I mean, even when I use it, you don't get told what it does. You just have to, like, look at all your stats and be like, uh, what could it have possibly done? Um, definitely a flaw in this game. It really is. Let's start off by Jasmine. Restore some of your HP. Honestly, it's probably shittier than an herb. Not enough to even, like, really sell. Let me, I mean, you know, it costs 50. We sell for 25. I mean, that shit does add up. Calm Herb. Restores a lot of your HP. That's for 100. We do have meal rations if we need it. Um, what else we got? Smoked fish <laughs> restores 4 HP. Wow. Like to the point where you might as well just use it right now, legitimately. Let's get that the fuck out of our inventory. Alright, then we have mint essence. Mint essence cures paralysis. Alright. And a regular herb we could sell for 40. Honestly, the herbs and the jasmine, I might be better off just selling. I mean, obviously, we'll hold on to it for now, because what else am I going to do with it? And holy water uh, cures poison. Got it. Okay. All right. Interesting. So I think that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, jasmine. And herbs just sell those just outright uh, rations are a little bit useful because you can you know heal your full party with them they you know they're decent in a pinch again what the fuck is mint mist essence here's paralysis okay I'll try my best to remember that I'm starting to like see that um gold or silver in this game is so at least the uh, the Western Designs version of this game, or Working Designs, is so fucking shit. The Luck Litany does that. What's Deep Protect do? Deep Protect doesn't even ink. I'm not even sure. What does Deep Protect do? I guess I guess I should look that up too. Oh, uh, let's see here. Lunar, the Silver Star, Spells, where's Spells? Magic. Ooh, 
reduces defense by 20 um, for five. I mean, I guess that's what we should do. Pretty cheap. Yeah, it doesn't like half their defense, like so it's not as good as uh, Luna's crazy shit that doubles your attack. That's like ungodly good. Certainly do that in a flamer for more fucked up uh, battles. Learn the flame bomb spell. Shit, okay. Oh, what's my Layla doing? What's my dog doing? Palm herb received. Nice. All up, sorry. I, I don't know. Okay. Layla, Layla's hopping off the bed. Good. And we got something over here. In a doorway. Althenia's mirror is that of Athena. All, all Athena's. It's kind of a hard word to say, honestly. Althena's mirror is a sacred mirror that reflects evil. It will show the true nature of all that exposed to it. Watch, we're gonna get into a fucking crazy ass fight, I'm sure of it. I don't know. Let's use a um, little litany on Alex real quick. Probably should be healing more. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to the MP curatives just because, you know, in a pinch, those are like outstanding. Do a flamer as well. Because again, we learned that in the uh, Cave of Trials or whatever the hell it was called. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. Really? There we go. I was about to say, Alex might be dead if we don't fucking get that heal off like now. we have uh, quite a bit of money. Looks like we have 1k now. I'm guessing the Calm Herb does the same as pretty much that. Let's save again. Alright, let me fucking briefly use the bathroom coffee run through me. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I kind of like the whole idea of like um, characters rotating in and out of your party due to story beats as long as it's not yeah, as long as it's within reason. As long as there's like a point like halfway through the game or near all the way through the game where you have... You can kind of like pick and choose who you want in your party. But um, I think that overall for a game... And this is kind of like, I can't even see. Well, I guess I could say first impressions. Not really sure how far we are through this game so far, percentage wise. But I say, as a game company that is not Square, Enix, Capcom, um, I don't know who else made fucking RPGs around this time. This is still like a pretty surprising game. I'm not sure if it's their first attempt or what at an RPG. I keep forgetting the name. Same guys who did uh, Alicia Dragoon. 
Oh, hey, Layla. What does she want? Let's see, what what is, what is that company called? Lunar Silver Star. Let's check this shit real quick. Uh, game arts. I keep I keep forgetting game arts. So game arts did what? Thexter, Sylphid, um, a couple shooters, Alicia Dragoon. So those were like their first like three big games. Dexter, Sylphid, and Alicia Dragoon. I'm surprised that was an early one because uh, Alicia Dragoon was like a joint effort between Game Arts and Gainax, the same company that did uh, uh, Evangelion. But then they did Lunar Silver Stars. I guess this would be their first RPG. Very surprising. 1992 in Japan. Yeah, I think I think honestly for a first effort, good job. Many um, other studios had really fucking rough first attempts. Took them a while to start making uh, good ones, so you gotta give them credit. You really do. Herb of Althena. I oh got too much shit. Althena restores all of your party's HP, and it costs. 2300 and then the vigor peach restores all of it one character's hp and that is 900 i might want to sell all this shit just to get myself fully kitted out because you know like we have magic to heal don't get me wrong like these are really really good heals but i'd rather have the money and actually be able to equip all the shit i want this is the althena's mirror this is sure to bring my mother back to normal Alex, can you help me a little more? They say my mother went to the Crystal Tower. The passage to it is through a cave of trial. Can you accompany me to meet her there? Do I have to, like, equip the fucking thing? Wait, what if I equip it? If I equip it on her, do I just get fucked? Um, I might want to equip it on me. Just in case she leaves my party or something. Um... No, you can't equip it. That's good. That kind of ensures that the uh, character doesn't leave your party with a key item that you absolutely need. If I can't equip it, I wonder if she can equip it. Did she equip it? Nope. Alright, well shit. Um, yeah, that's a nice light um, dungeon then. Flame Bomb and Flamer. Oh shit, she also learned the Flame Bomb spell, alright. We can be committing war crimes now. Yeah, even with the um the rod, which is actually like decent in terms of stats, Mia does no fucking damage. I guess I could just try to use it as a item and just kill a motherfucker. Okay. You just kind of have to predict who it's going to land on. Which just kind of suck. Alright, so let's... Yeah, let's just do that. You know, if it's to save mana. Uh... Zaus is dead? Fuck. Run! Well, shit. At least the game is very forgiving with um, run, running away. I know there's like a long time in the uh, late 80s and early 90s where, I, I don't know, the games would just punish the living shit out of you 
or even considering running away. It's like, oh, you want to run away, motherfucker? You're in over your head? Well, you only have a 10% chance of successfully running away. So you are better off just trying to stand and fight. It's like, well, then what the fuck's the point of even having a runaway option? Fuck you. Oh, I hate it. I really do. Magic little litany. Jesus. Slip me be. Uh, magic. We can use D-Protect. Yeah, I think if we, like, start selling some of these items that we got, it can be a real game changer, honestly. Because that was, like, the biggest uh, difficulty hurdle, is not being able to afford anything in this game. I mean, we were able to afford enough to, like, you know, keep pushing forward without having to, like, stop and grind for a while, which is good. Really stop and grind at all. It just, you know, could have been easier. They actually afford the best shit in each town. These guys say anything. Yeah, so it's kind of like interesting that they, um, I mean, I guess they realized they had a real good thing on their hands with this game. To want to like remake it almost immediately and improve it. This is a fast turnaround time for a uh, re-release of a game. There's Lunar Silver Star Story and Lunar 2 for the PlayStation 1, that was probably like 97 or something, if I had to guess. Alright, uh, what are we doing then? Well, let's first talk to this guy to heal up. Down here. And I guess we're going in that little shack. Me, are you leaving Vane? I see. Well, have you asked Lemia's permission? You can't leave Vane without your mother's permission. Got the rumor of the magic barrier. File tribe. Alright. Um, so yeah, let's uh, buy some shit. First weapons. We want to be able to kill shit more quickly with Alex. Jesus Christ, it's so much money. Vigor Peach, a Seed of Vigor. Alright, so let's just kind of like go over what exactly we're losing here. Because these, these are good ones. Restore a lot of your MP. Which I'm sure it is. An herb of Althena restores all of your party's HP. Well, uh, I don't know, like, this could be good late game. Um, but regardless, uh, Jasmine and herbs. Hold on to the Calm Herbs and the um, Meal Rations, just in case. Have Special Rations on? What the fuck does Special Rations do? Restore some of your party's HP. Alright, probably like a decent amount. Alright, so I mean, we, we have ways to heal our whole crew. Magic, magic Robe. Wait, why is that so much? Wait a minute. He has magic robe. Wait, why is the sell price so high for that one? Why is it like 3,000? How much does the magic robe usually cost? No, I'm thinking of the cool robe. Okay, so she just... She starts the magic robe? I thought she had just like a regular cool robe on. So we just get two, two free magic robes? Alright, then I actually don't want to sell that. Jesus. We can sell a tiara. Didn't we have an extra tiara? It's only 50 bucks. And calmer. Is that like a full party heal? Uh, 
Uh, it's just a big restore. Okay, so, I mean, we'll hold on to the calm herbs. I mean, that's... I mean, we have th three of them. Maybe we'll sell one of them. We haven't really gotten paralyzed yet in this game. Herb of Althana, I think I will hold on to that, but the 2,000 for the... that That's just too fucking good. Your peach would also be good. What is that? Is that an MP heal? Bigger Peach restores all of your HP. I guess that could be good in a fucking pinch. Let's see uh, what we can do for uh, 3,500. Long sword. We need another grand to buy that long sword. We can also buy a fire cane upgrade for her. But I mean, she's probably gonna leave my party pretty much immediately, but the Fire Cane probably does some really cool free full party uh, attack, which would probably be real sick for her. But I mean, bruh, the long sword. Or we could just save. Save our money here. We did get like a sudden like 3k increase in money. What the fuck does the Hiram nut do? Hiram nut increases agility. Is it permanent? Was it a permanent increase in agility? Or is it just for one fucking battle? If it's for one fucking battle, you better believe I'm selling that shit. 2000 is like way too good. It's like so many battles worth of money. Agility 22. Agility 24. Alright, so it's permanent. Fucking A. Now, does that increase the number of attacks if your agility's high enough? I wonder if agility directly improves attack number and move number. Without further interruption, let's celebrate and suck some dick. Without. It's good, Rin Chan. Thank you for uh, joining the celebration. It's called celebration. It's sexual and violent. But I, uh, yeah, I do appreciate it. How you doing? Uh, is there anything else we want to sell? Herb of Athenia, maybe. But I could just be patient and maybe get enough money. We're, we're close to being able to buy one of those, and I'm assuming that after this shit, Mia leaves my party anyway. So let's just go for it. Got a nice little boost. Nice little money boost. I'll take what I can get. Fortunately, we are going in here. <laughs> try to find a hidden passage. No clue where it is, though. Uh, Miss Mia, why have you come here? Not to accept a trial, I hope. Be good. Been listening to the background for a bit. One of my favorite games. Yeah, it's, like, pretty good. I'm honestly impressed. I'm usually an asshole. <laughs> no, um, I, I can be, I can be a little bit harsh on, uh, games. I feel like a lot of games fucking deserve it, frankly. Like, I was playing Trials of Mana recently, and the ending really did suck. Uh, the ending, like, third. Like, it was a slideshow of just trying to open up the menu, and I'm like, what the hell? Like, this isn't... People talk up this game, it's crazy. I don't know, I was, I was a little bit upsetty at the end of this that one. I think some games, a lot of people give a free pass, so... But, like, I'm curious. I always wanted to play older games, so whenever I play an uh, older JRPG, and I'm actually enjoying it quite a bit. Surprising. Once again, the items are opaque, though. We're really better off just selling a lot of it, because uh, working designs really fucked with the prices. Oh there, adventurers. I've been living in this... Oh, God. Hmm. The guy didn't really tell me where the passage would be. He should ask around town a little bit more? I don't know. I guess we'll have to figure this shit out. 
I mean, you know, worst case scenario. Oh, uh, th does that look weird? No, maybe. I guess regardless, we'll get some of the money that we definitely need. That kind of does that kind of look weird? That kind of looks weird, right? Yeah, I'm just losing it. No. See that uh, the same pattern appears in other areas. Whatever, we'll just spam Flamer. Some light XP, some gold. Yeah, I wouldn't be there. What about you? Do you have anything to say? This cave is really convoluted. <laughs> sure wish Marley was here right now. Like from the movie Marley and Me? No, that came out like 2000, yeah? Something like that. It's the one with Owen Wilson, wow. You know, I'm kind of surprised I can't one-shot these guys. Hey, getting some level ups. Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll just fucking level grind and get some money all the same. What we got so far? 37k. 3700, I should say. Yeah, we're getting like 56 per. So I just kind of had to remember where we go. This isn't like a huge cave. We have two homies worth of fire magic. Maybe investigate that. Is there anything that looks suspicious? It's a hidden, uh, hidden door. I think I have a note there that leads back to the exit. I kind of vaguely remember this. Rinchan now from Rinchan now. Yeah, is that name like a uh, an animu? Yeah, I am unaware. Honestly, need to watch more animu. I know I keep saying that, but um, yeah, I don't know, man. It's just a fucking matter of time. I'm like halfway through 20 different animus. I guess with my free time, I'd rather just fucking game. Uh, there's that guy. That guy might have something to say. Or maybe in there? No. It looks like it might be it. I don't even know about from the rhythm game, Hatsune Miku. How many games are there to like Hatsune Miku? Isn't that like a fucking series of games? Oh, speaking of AI and music, I was um, messing around with, uh, I was talking about in the beginning of the stream. What the, what the hell was it called? Suno, Suno AI, very fun. Like the AI generated music where you can just type in like a sentence and it'll give you a two minute song. <laughs> Pretty good. I really like it. Alright. I mean, I guess we'll hold on to our uh, shit. If we really need to sell our full heal items, we can. There's no place like home. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. I'm just so frustrated. I can sit down and cry. How did I get out of here? How do you get out of here, rather? I wonder if it's just gonna, like, jump out at me. Like, maybe maybe the door is there. I'm assuming the, um, the hidden door wouldn't be there before. Maybe when I walk past it, maybe uh, me will just point it out to me. Lunar's awesome. It doesn't look like awful <laughs> DBZ. What's wrong with Dragon Ball Z, motherfucker? And also, what's good? El, El, El de Milkirk. Um, let's see. I've heard of this game as characters taken almost wholesale from Dragon Quest Shonen anime. Um, I have seen the character from, uh, Dragon Quest V, but I've also seen, uh, 
the, the homie from, oh, what, Adolf from East. Which is neat. But I, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It just looks like anime. Just general anime. Started watching Adventure of Die. How was that? Be bad, no? Because I know that the game Adventure of Die apparently, like, got panned, didn't it? Oh, wait, 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 what do you have to say, motherfucker? You know it's dangerous? Not to Animu in general. Gotcha. But you like the Animu games! Also, the Dragon Quest anime isn't by Toriyama. That is weird, isn't it? I'm sure they probably tried to get Toriyama. He's like, no, I'm good. I'm... <laughs> I already have infinite money. Apparently, in terms of rich-ass uh, Animu creators, um, I think the guy who does One Piece might be the richest of them all. But then again, you know. There's like 4,000 episodes on that. I actually like some of the art stuff, One Piece, of what I've seen. It's just... The issue is, there's like a 1,000 episodes of it. This game is great, but games can get too Japanese for me. I don't bother with Shimigami Tensei Persona. Same here, honestly. Interesting. I honestly, I don't see that uh, stance that often. To truth be told, a lot of people fucking love the Shimigami Tensei series, the Persona series, and um, what else? Uh, Legend of Heroes. Trails games and um, I've tried both Trails games and the um, you know what I, I played Persona 3 a little bit and Shimigami Tensei Nocturne I couldn't get into any of them but I'm, I'm down to give uh, Persona 4 and 5 another shot but people love those fucking games dude Adventure of Die 2020's version is amazing where a lot of the shonen JRPGs archetype originated? Oh, what do you mean? Like old, old school, like the mango? From way, way earlier that the anime was based off of? Uh, let's see, it's like Dragon Quest story, but instead being told it's a game, it's about shonen fights. Um, let's see, reaching now, it says I love Persona and Shin Megami Tensei. Trials, I like the first few arcs. The series just keeps going. Got tired of it. Yeah, I played the first game. Um, I actually streamed it. I really, really wanted to like it. God damn. Um, that game is dry as hell. I, I hear that it's just a slow start and two gets better. I do plan on playing two at least. And then if I like still hate it, I'm going to drop the fucking series. But man, that is a long-winded dry series. And like you, it, you're just kind of like expected to play all of them, you know, in order to follow the story. It's a lot. Uh, since you've already found your way out of the caves, can you help your way? Can you see your way clear? Can you see your way clear to help me out? What the fuck does that mean? That's a weird sentence. You've already found the answers. Can you see your way clear to help me out? Strange. Making game longer and making it better aren't the same. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, that guy kind of glitched through the floor there. Fuck, I forget where to go. You know, because you want you want a JRPG to be kind of meaty. You don't want it to be too short. But there are ones that are like, all right, dude, get get on with it. Get on with it. We're still getting the mirror. I got the mirror. Now I'm trying to get into the crystal tower to use the mirror on the crazy bitch. So I have up and up. And down left. Oh, God. It's ropes down there. Which might be the way we need to go. Maybe. Then that goes up. Fuck, man. <laughs> Fuck. 
This game is a bit fucking confusing, it really is. We got plenty of magic, and we're making plenty of money. Let's see, uh, the dub is also by the Ocean Group, the guys who did the original English dub of, uh, DBZ. I like, I like the, um, original English dub of DBZ. By the Ocean Dude. I, I like Surfer and Goku. An extra edgy Vegeta. Talking about how Bardock used to be a great scientist. Fun shit. Yeah, I plan on uh, playing um, Persona 4 and 5, because those are the two that people seem to like the most, but Persona 3, I just... I know, man. I just had to write down everything. You're like, all right, I gotta meet with Stacy for fucking hockey practice at six, but then I have, you know, uh, choir practice at nine, but then I have to study for the exam on Tuesday with Larry. I'm like, why am I doing this? Man, you guys are stuck up. Just because you're finished the Cave of Trial, you think you're something special. That's not true, you jerk. That's the next floor. I guess that's the exit, huh? It just, it just seemed like a lot. And apparently that can, kind of continues, but... 4 and 5 each have their own little twists on it, with 4 having like a murder mystery, oh, to my wow. understanding, and... Uh, Five being like some sort of like superhero dream world thing. I don't really know, but you're treating Persona 3 like if you're writing a guy, you just need to go with it. And that's what I keep hearing. And when I play through 4 and 5, or at least try to play 4 and 5, I'll try to keep that in mind. Honestly, what's the best way to beat a long game? Uh, one play session at a time, baby. Don't try to blow through it too quickly. Uh, try to do side quests if the main story is kind of getting a little bit dull. Do the main story if you feel like the pacing is a little bit slow for the game. Yeah, really, that's about it. Because if you do try to, like, binge through that shit and try to play the everlasting piss out of it, you get burned out, in my, in my opinion. I know some people are able to, like, Play through an entire goddamn series. Hi, Gable, you motherfucker. Psychotron. Alright, that sounds fun. Alright, so that loops around there. Played seven trails games back to back over five months. That was fantastic. That's just insane to me. That's crazy. Um, all right, we'll use Psychotron. I can't. Huh. I wonder if that, like, is a cool heal or some shit. What does Psychotron do? Warp to the entrance of the current dungeon. Well, good thing I didn't use that. I like the cheesy tropes and the waifu stuff, so I don't mind. My issue with, um, I mean, I've said this before, my issue with the Trails games is more just they go about everything in the most long-winded way possible. Where what can be said in two sentences, they find a way to say it in, like, 20 paragraphs. And I'm just like, holy shit, man. So that's really what primarily killed it for me. That, and you know, you do, at least in... Uh, Trails in the Sky 1, you do a lot of bitch work. Oh, rescue, rescue a kitten from the tree. Oh, wow, the, the bad guy's over there. All right, cool. We found out where the bad guy is. We're going to go take him on. No, 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 no. You guys, uh, you guys got to fucking uh, clean the bathrooms and take out the trash. Uh, fuck you. You're a little bitch, and I'm a big boy. So, you can't be doing any cool shit in this game. And I'm like, fuck you! <laughs> I'm like, looking at my playtime in the game, I'm like 30 hours in. I'm like, well, I have to play through the whole thing at this point. Goddamn. Miss Mia, what brings you down to this awful pit? I will never go back to Sky 1 and 2. Yeah, I feel... They're just dry games. They really are. 
Oh, Cold Steel and the Crossbow duology I will replay. Yeah, it's just a shame that, to my understanding, though, people have said online, like, in order to really get the most out of Cold Steel and Crossbow duology and all that, you kind of had to play through the whole series in the earlier games, including the Sky Trilogy. I don't know how true that is, but... Oh, that thing, that doorway. Yes, I had notes on that. Wait a minute. Bring up my goddamn notes. Uh, Weird Woods Chess. Uh, another Weird Woods Chess by a fucking big tree. Chests in Moribia sewers under the castle. Probably behind, um, that one dude. Like in that one dude's mansion, Mel. Peninsula to the south and east of Authentic Temple. This is some Stonehenge shit. Possible area in the Cave of Trials that leads into the Crystal Tower in vain. So I did not write down the fact that there was that sealed door, because I felt that was part of the Cave of Trials at the beginning. If I did write that down, I would have, you know, known to go right for this. And I think we get a free heal from the, uh... other guy at the beginning. It's kind of bullshit, though, that we have to go through this area backwards. I know, they said that we couldn't leave, or Mia couldn't leave the town, so I'm not sure if we could have warped down to the, you know, surface of the planet. The guy that heals me. Heal me, daddy. Oh dear, Miss Mia, what are you doing down here? Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Let's save. Let's see, they're full of it. The characters always tend to introduce themselves over and over. If you didn't know, you will after they introduce themselves for the eighth time. Yes, it's probably just autists online giving advice, being like, no, you have to do everything forever. But that, I mean, shit. And it's, but you know me, I usually start with the beginning of the series anyway, so I'm gonna do it regardless. Unfortunately, uh, Trails of the Sky 1 has largely turned me off from the series. I do still plan on playing them too. I just need to wait a little bit longer for the, the taste to wash out of my mouth. Do you think there's any porn of, like, online Rule 34 of people wanting to fuck those walking fish? Some Alex fish monster slash fic online? Uh, hey, where do you think that door over there will take us? Ah, here it is. In the name of the Alsa dynasty, I send you the power of my heritage. Accept it now and release the bands of restraint. She was just saying a bunch of bullshit. All she had to do was, like, poke it. Okay, Alex, the door's open. Let's go. The door's a shortcut. I want to use it and see if it'll get me out of here faster. You're right by the entrance, dude. That's one thing that I still think is funny. This is in, uh, Dragon Quest V or Four, In, like, the beginning tutorial chapter of the game, there's, like, one guard that's, like, stuck in the tutorial tunnel that's, like, you got like one looping area and then the exit and that's it and he's just stuck there for fucking like days and weeks it's cute i don't know that was funny see i gable says i mean will you enjoy uh you recognize one character because they were introduced in a book or one sentence that if you didn't pay attention you'd be in the same boat as someone who didn't play this is true as well by the time i get to two i probably will have forgotten quite a bit I think I'll be- I'll remember quite a bit, too, but i you know, probably also forgotten a bit. Some real slight things. I mean, that's true if, like, if any of you guys have ever actually read any of the Song of Ice and Fire books. They're just, like, way too detailed with way too many cameos. To the point where, when you get to the point where a character is actually introduced, if you're like, Oh, that was that one guy that they mentioned in one page in one sentence two books ago. It's like, Jesus. I mean, George R. R. Martin is definitely on the spectrum. I mean, I don't think he ever even finished the thing. And I think, honestly, the uh, HBO show, because I didn't watch the later seasons, but apparently people hated them. And they we went w way off the rails. I'm sure that probably turned them off of uh, ever finishing it, honestly. There are merits to playing from game one, I won't deny that, but if you had to be the type who appreciates that, 
We are not concerned Cold Steel is still a valid spot. Yeah, I'll agree with that. There are a lot of people online who are like, No, you have to start here, you fuck. Oh, hey, Layla. What's my baby dog doing? Word. Ugh, oh, alright. This is still on vain. Oh, it's shit. Mia, I know how stubborn you can be, so I won't even try to stop you. I'll just go along with you. Nash, have you yet heard that he's got, like, one hand under his robe? Breathing heavy. There's a lot of movement. Uh, Nash, if you ever entered the tower without my mother's approval, you'll be put to death. I know that, but you're taking that risk, too. Come on, you need my help. Besides, I don't want you guys hogging all the glory when this is done. Oh, Nash, you crazy fool. Take me, mad meat. Alright, let's see uh, what we got, though. I think we still have the, the Brumenhad. Which still, I have no clue what the fuck it does. We, we can't use it for anything. It's fucked up. What level is he at? Level 21. Yeah, he's weak because he keeps fucking dying on boss fights because they just go right for him. Which is admittedly pretty funny. Oh wait, we can equip the uh, the magic robe on this brick. Nice. Uh, let's see how that improves the stats. Uh, 15, 12, 59. Anti-magic plus three. Defense power. Uh, did that really go up by 20? That's crazy. As a, a good fucking set of gear. Anything else he's got? He's got a wind essence that we can try to use. Now, what does wind essence do? I'm tired of using items and not knowing what they do. Cast Psychotron. Oh, so that's just the thing that takes me back to the start. And I can sell it for 500. God damn, I guess we're selling it. That is another thing I would be glad to get rid of. Honestly, let me put Nash ahead of Mia. Considering that Mia, her attack is kind of fucking useless. Uh, how do I do that? Remember this being a little bit weird. Okay, you choose the person with up and down. But then you choose the actual person with left and right, which is really weird. Yeah, it's like a fucking weird way of doing it. And then Nall just goes wherever the hell he wants in your party, which is also strange. Go figure, we now have enough to- Without further interruption, God. let's celebrate and suck some dick. Thank Without you, Al Demelkirk, for A, scaring the shit out of me, but also B, joining the celebration. For the record, I used to have that shit even louder because I thought it was funny. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Not really, I'm good. Oh wait, we didn't even talk to this guy. Hold up. I overheard some high-ranking magicians talking amongst themselves. They were saying that the goddess Althena is not in her tower. Can it be? I wonder who the goddess could be. It makes me think. See, Skin says we suck in lots of dicks today, huh? Well, it's, if it's cause for celebration. I mean, if it's what we gotta do, it's what we gotta do. It's like the uh, Tails Got Trolled image, right? Or it's like Bugs Bunny talking about how to not get bullied. And it's like, you know, I just, you know, dress up as a chick and make up and try to make out with the bullies. And then they leave me alone because they think it's weird. I don't like doing it, but it works. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking good, good bit. Oh shit, that's a cool fucking looking enemy. Yeah, some of the enemy designs in this game is actually, like, really cool as well. Um, I guess we could do Flamer, Thunder Wave, and Flamer. Just because there's six of these bricks. I mean, 
mean, that's a lot. They're doing a lot of damage, too. All right. Attack, attack, attack. Let's go for broke. Man, that's a lot of them, dude. We're gonna have to do a group heal after this one. Oh, shit, we got a tiara. All right, it's money. Nash is leveling up, too. Only saving that. I mean, tiaras aren't that expensive. I mean, shit, it's like money. What, what can I sell that for? Like 300, something like that? And now 5,000 silver? Crazy. Oh, yeah, I gave a lot. While you were gone, I discovered that selling items in this game is a great way to make money. Um, I had something that would, like, heal one character's MP to max, but I could sell it for 2,000. And I'm like, well, fuck that. I want the money. And I sold a bunch of my healing items because everyone in my party can heal. Yeah. I think the money is worth more to me overall. Well, let's use... Palm Litany. That's looking good. What we got? 26, 29, 22. Jesus. Jesus, Nash. You big bitch. Um, alright. Yeah, a lot of, like, just tower, tower dungeons in this game as well. Which is fine. The encounter rate seems to be generous. God damn. Real important. <laughs> God damn. Give the most important looking room this tower. This legendary tower to sick all merb. It's a regular ass heal. Alright, so uh, I'll have Alex go in for just a regular ass attack. Um, we could use Thunder Bomb, right? Thunder Bomb. And then we can use a Deep Protect. So, how much does that do? So, 153 to. Eh. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. As long as they're attacking Alex more than anything else. Although, he's a little bit fucked up. Let's use a uh, little litany on Alex. Word. God damn, these guys are actually hitting pretty hard, dude. I mean, yeah, we're hanging in there. This sucks that, like, you know, Nash, he hops in my party when I, I think he's already gone, so I can't, like, go into town and necessarily buy shit for him. The fire rod would probably be pretty awesome. You attack. Use a thunder bomb. I guess we can just use the ice can. Yeah, I mean, eh, that's the thing, is that they're resistant to magic. Doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Another silver light. And I think we're going to want a Calm Litany. So we could use a power, yeah. Let's use a little litany. We have plenty of the uh, the silver shit if we really need to. Um, I'm gonna try to avoid using it if we can. So when we really, really, really need it later, if that even it happens, we should be gold. God damn, these guys are kind of a fucking pain in the ass, though, huh? Thunder bomb. I guess I could use a flame bomb. She's got the magic. 
Hey, God damn, we're really getting some serious levels here. I mean, if we have to, we can just go out of the tower and um, at the entrance area of the Cave of Trials, get a free MP heal. Jesus Christ, man. Eight enemies? Seriously? I mean, this is a lot. There we are. Nash is finally leveling up. Uh, let's drop another save. To save scum our way to victory. Uh, big boy heal on our boy Nash. All right, uh, let's see what's going on here. Thunder essence. All right, I'm guessing that just does a crazy ass thunder attack. Um, we could just sell it. Uh, it's always an option, or we could just equip it. Just in case we want to use it for a um, boss fight. But honestly, once again, I'm finding that selling shit is an extraordinarily viable strategy in this game. It's different. Don't remember the PlayStation version. Such large groups at you, but the enemy are definitely beefier. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of leaning on magic here. You kind of need to. Um, honestly, let's just do... Do we have a calm litany? No, we have a little litany. Let's do a, a deep protect, maybe. Yeah, because at least he one-shots him. Nash, not so much. Gonna beat the shit out of Nash. Honestly, the knockback's useful for getting your weaker characters the fuck out of there. Alright, so uh, Deep Protect actually stacks. Be uh, useful. Magic. Let's use a little litany. Jesus, all right, uh, magic, bomb litany. Oh, what do you want, baby girl? What does she want? I could take her out to pee real quick. Um, I don't know. We're, we're, honestly, after this, I'm probably going to, um, haul it. I might even do, like, three streams today, honestly. Say fuck it. <laughs> honestly, do some Warcraft, and, uh, later this evening, do some, uh, Wario Land. I'm very much in a fucking mood. Considering it's like calling out tomorrow. God, the last like two weeks has just been insanely stressful. Just insane. I don't even understand why. Um, let's use a little litany. Yeah, that's what we want. A little litany on our boy Nash. Aha! Alright. This is where we want to be. Is everyone full health? Uh, practically, I mean, they're, they're full health enough. We can use um, a little litany on Alex. You guys got dogs? Do they ever do the thing where they just like stare at the door as if there's something there, but there's not anything there? They're just gaslighting the shit out of you? From this sacred room, all the affairs of Vayne are carefully controlled. It's the Illuminati, no. It's the fucking Clintons. It's kind of like a medieval version of the West World. Of West World, Jesus. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, hey Layla, what is, what is she doing? Is she saying? Is he saying that's an AI program? Sorry, my dog. My dog wants attention. There you go. Oh, she's a good girl. Uh, why is Lemia holding a ceremony in the star chamber today? There seems to be no pressing business to attend to. Why there's no random encounters in this area? To disobey Lemia is to break the law of the guild. Mia, you must know that means death. Please don't go into the star chamber. Me, I'm begging you, don't go to the star chamber. If you go in, your mother will punish me for letting you pass. I have to save again, because I'm spooked. It's not Lemia right here. Hey, how did you get in here without using transfer magic? What, you came in by way of the Cave of Trial? Troublemaker. Mr. Mia, you must have entered the star chamber. Your mother has given me explicit instructions that Galeon alone can enter. Tell me, they're fucking... Galeon and his weird-ass homunculi of, uh... Lemia. Ooh, cool. Cool room. Alright, save here. Seventh uh, star chamber. Mia, who let you into the star chamber? You know the law of the guild states that you must die now, don't you? That would apply if you really let me, uh, but you're a fraud. My real mother would never have speak to me as you have. Shine, Mia, shine. Show all the true soul of this imposter. Who the fuck is the person to the left, though? Is that Galeon or something? <laughs> Curses. The mirror of Athenia. The nasty slut. With big old titties, nice. Play the bongos on this. I am Zenobia, head of the vile tribe. Oh shit, all right. Our plan to seize control of the vain magic guild almost worked. Now you've destroyed all that we've worked for. You'll pay for this. Well, Zenobia is like fucking stacked. Um, let's see what we got. Flame, blazing fire. It's probably oh shit! No, 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 no! Don't flee, you fucking prick! Let's see what items you got. Eh, nothing. All right, yeah, just just attack. Screw it. You can use um crazy shit if needed. Uh, let's see. Let's use thunder bomb. Deep protect, luck litany, stone ice attack. Stone does a lot of damage to one, right? You try to just keep on stacking deep protects. I'm not sure if that would be uh, more beneficial or not than just spamming flame bombs. Deep protect can't hurt, right? Let's go for. Yes, Nash. Good. You go right into danger. Thank you. Magic. Um, do another thunder bomb. Do another deep protect. Rig these full stone. Fuck it. Do another deep protect. Um, honestly, with this much deep... Eh. Yeah, fuck it. Use another Thunder Bomb. Screw it. Do another deep protect. Fuck it. I'm not sure if it stacks. Does it seem like it's stacking? Guess that's enough. Let's see. Um, Alex is fine. Could use a Luck Lit and see if we can confuse these bricks. Which might be possible. All right, I think we're golden. Um, let's use full stone. Nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? Did it seem like that shit was stacking and they were getting like weaker and weaker in terms of defense? 
Once again, it's no uh, Luna's crazy ass spell that doubles my attack. That is beyond all broken. Oh, good. Thanks, guys. Thanks for leaving. Yeah, take all the shit I bought for you. I appreciate it. Hey, bye. Didn't seem like it stacked. Alex still did the high 60, low 70. After one. Gotcha. All right. I can't believe I was completely deceived by your cheap trick. Hmm, what should I do now? I bet he cocksucker. Ah, I know. You're from Berg, right? So then you know where the Dragon's Cave is. He might be able to help us build a defense against Zenobia. Please, show me where the White Dragon is. Mwahaha. Uh, I don't know. Well, at the very least, please bear my request in mind. Jeez, Alex, you look so pathetic. Maybe you should help him out after all. At least then we'd get to stop in and say hi to Luna on the way. Oh, thank you, Alex. And, well, all of you. I'm so glad Zenobia was unmasked, but I wonder where my real mother is. On one hand, I'm relieved to know that the wicked Lemmy is not my mother, but all I do is wonder what really has happened to my real mother. Well, now we know that Zenobia was impersonated Lemia, but that leaves us with a question. Where's the real Lemia? We have to find her before this news spreads. Without her, the guild will descend into anarchy. Ah, oh, me, I'm sure everything will work out all right. Your mother will be found, and life in vain will return to normal. So how about a smile, huh? Come on, cheer up, Mia. Hold up, I want to look up what the fucking the Mia photo does. Is that a br bromade or whatever? Bromide? Yeah, all it says is equip it on Nash and see what happens. The, uh... It literally does nothing. So, I don't know, maybe I should just sell the fucking thing. It was expensive enough. There it probably is some, like, really obscure, uh... What, Easter egg? I just have no idea what it could be. Alright, we'll accept this dude. Alex, can you take me to the cave, the White Dragon's cave? What does he say? We have to take this threat from Zenobia seriously. Fine, I'll, I'll you know, what was the quote from Spaceballs? There's like, evil will always conquer good, because good is stupid. Okay then, I'll meet you in Moribia. We'll take a boat from the port there. And yeah, the White Dragon's gonna be like, you fucking dumbass motherfucker. How do you not know he's obviously evil? Hey, Alex, if we can go back to Berg, that means we can see Luna again. Oh, wait, so am I uh, really just, like, walking out of here? So it was Zenobia that changed herself into Lemia's likeness, so that's why Lemia was acting so strange. Zenobia said she killed the real Lemia, but that doesn't make any sense. The real Lemia should have been much stronger than Zenobia. How'd this happen? I already transferred Master Galeon outside the tower. Do you want to leave too? Uh, no, it's a nice walk. Okay, I understand the metabolic value of a brisk walk. <laughs> if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Uh, you have grown strong by the trials of battle. I can teach you nothing more than you already know. It seems to me that you have much in common with Dragon Master Dine. Watch Dragon Master Dine is my real daddy. He just fucking knocked up my mom a la uh, Professor Oak and Ash's mom. Oh, dear lord. How did Zenobia infiltrate our most sacred room undetected? Her power must be growing. This is an ominous warning of things to come. So then, if this Alemia was an imposter, where's the real one? I sure hope Zenobia didn't do anything drastic. Alright, let's fuck it. Teleport out of here. And let's heal. And let's buy the best sword they got, baby. Then I guess I'm gonna fucking call it. We still haven't explored all of this continent. Um, this is because, like, people keep leaving my fucking party, and I'd rather explore the continent with people. That way everyone's getting experience. Alright, time to buy a longsword. Alright, hopefully this is actually, like, a noticeable increase, because holy shit, that's a lot of money. Um, 74, 36, 24. Uh, from 74 to 89. So it's up by 15. That's not bad. 
And honestly, with uh, him attacking twice, I wonder if the number of attacks ever increases. Like if the agility goes up high enough. I really hope so, honestly. Level 30, too. Crazy. Yeah, we gained like 10 levels in this uh, this part. The stream, rather. I guess we'll sell... I'll sell the cool robe and the saber. And the tiara. Although, if we get Luna in our party... Yeah, let's sell the saber. And I'll hold on to the... Oh. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll hold on to the TR and the cool robe, at least for now. We don't really know who's going to join our party or who we should equip with some better shit. But it's, you know, more economic to hold on to things for now before uh, another homie joins our party. Oof. Alrighty. We have eight all still walking back and forth. A really weird Easter egg, by the way. Definitely strange, but we are going to call it. And I'm going to take my baby dog out for a walk. Because she's so sweet. <laughs> she's been very patient. The stream, goddamn. But, uh, honestly, when I get back, I'm probably going to, um... Oh, oh, God damn, what a slow fucking day. Probably gonna throw a load of laundry in the wash, do some of my weekend shit to prepare for the week. And I think I'm just gonna jump into another stream, either um, Wario Land 2 or OG Warcraft, and it's probably gonna be like an hour, hour and a half from now. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, thank you guys for the, the follows. Appreciate it. Um, much love. Take care of yourself. Peace out.